further models. If it's not immediately obvious from the chat in the corner, I am sick. I've got a cold. So I'm going to be playing Hydrogenia for the foreseeable future. It's pretty fun. It's basically Lego for adults. Why did you name your channel Jensen? Uh, it's named after my username, Jensen, which I've been using for the better part of almost two decades. Um, one of my computer science teachers in high school mispronounced one of my actual names. So uh, I started using that as my online handle. That's pretty much it. There's no other story to it. So we're going to have to get a little bit hunkered down in the early game mining once again. But we're not going to do this for, for very long. We are basically just going to do this as fast as we, as we possibly can. Get that brush in here as well. Uh, we also need a shovel, which is leaning up on the post over here. Now, the annoying thing about the saves corrupting is you don't actually get the shovel or the pan. Which is bad, given that you need them to generate money. <laughs> so we're going to start brushing for a little bit. It's going to be a bit loud, but I think it's definitely going to be worth it. Okay, and we'll put that back down. Yay, Hydrogen, yeah, hello there, Happy Ninja, or Funtime Foxy, whichever you prefer. I've got a cold, so we're going to be playing some uh, some nice relaxing games for the uh -huh. next week. Huh? Huh? Why can't I... It's kind of funny that you can't, like, leave the shovel in the dirt, right? Because the whole purpose of the shovel is to go in the dirt. All right, we'll scrub that, and we'll get this, we'll shove it in there, uh -huh. and we'll drop it on the ground. Now, in saying I'm a little disappointed with the save corrupted, I am... At the same time, a little bit happy about it because we didn't quite realize just how effective it was to get ourselves the goodies from the lower levels of uh, the dirt in here and then basically get our crap from that. The difference is about two kilos per, per thing, which is pretty good. Did you call me Funtime Foxy? I try to. If that is you, right? You are Funtime Foxy. Am I, uh -huh. am I correct? Okay, we'll put that down and uh -huh. we'll... Huh? Dude. Huh? Okay, it must, it must be full. Hey, the edits and animations, how are we today? I am playing a little bit of Hydrogenia. A little bit of a relaxing huh? game while my uh, huh? voice completely um, uh, caked itself. I thought I did Deltarune. I did a Deltarune stream last weekend, and unfortunately, I thought that maybe the Deltarune stream had... Huh? Uh, done a little bit of damage to my voice, but as it turns out, while I was doing that Deltarune stream, I was incubating a cold. So it's it's not actually Deltarune at all that did this to my voice. It is, it is a virus. At least it's not COVID, though. No, you are not Funtime Foxy? Oh, that's so embarrassing. Uh, the, the, there is a user on my channel who keeps huh? coming by with the username Funtime Foxy, and they keep changing huh? their name every now and then. I think last I saw they were like Cool Can of Beans or something like that. Maybe. Oh well, happy night. Uh -huh. it's, it's nice to see you along. I still recognize you. Still uh -huh. recognize you. Okay, so this is basically going to be like the first 10 minutes of the stream, I think. Just brushing. Okay, good. It's me, I'm Cool Can of Beats. Oh, you bastard. <laughs> you changed it again. Oh, okay. Fine. Oh, it's nice you got a, um... Oh, it's got a new name. It actually looks like something that people would want to subscribe to. Is that the point of it? It feels like that's the point of it. Okay. Uh, uh. Still full. Still a little bit full in there. Uh, I'm going to dump one last piece of dirt in here before we go and see what kind of wealth we have uh. got ourselves. Uh. Dude, just drop the damn thing. It's not that hard. Come on. <laughs> uh. Okay, we'll throw that on the ground and we'll pick this up and we're off. Remember to call me Juju? Okay, fine, Juju. I'll, I'll try and remember that, but you should know that I am heavily medicated for memory problems, thanks to an illness that I caught when I was a teenager. Uh, so my memory is absolute garbage. So if I do make slip-ups, it's part of the course. Just mooching about. Uh, that's nice. So 143 bucks is actually not that bad. Pretty good for some panning. Now, we're probably going to want to invest this in something a little bit not gold panning-ish. Full can of beans mail. And been active on your channel because of family stuff? That's okay. I haven't been editing on my channel because of family stuff recently, so... I suppose we're in the same boat. In a sense. But it's fine. My videos aren't going anywhere. And the only reason that I put them out there is really for the social element these days. Now, we've got this 143 bucks. We could probably get ourselves some... Piping. Or maybe a better shovel or anything in here. But I think we're probably going to want to get a fishing rod, first of all, right? Probably makes the most sense, because these fishing rods are cheap, and they generate money like crazy. 
let's do that. So we just spent 50 bucks. We've got 90 bucks left, which is absolutely fine. I'm going to come all the way over here and we're going to go oh, to the fishing village. Uh, no, thank you. I don't have anything to trade, sir. Right. And so this is where we fish. This is where we fish. Maybe not like on dry land, but definitely over here. And the reason for that is this is where we get the upgraded fishing rod. So essentially how the uh, tier fish. system works. Uh, how could you tell? Was it the fishing rod? Probably. We need to catch one of these. You put it in the bucket. You hit this button. You get this rod. And then you get the next tier of rod. So this changes to the next tier of the fish, essentially. And you got to get that next tier of fish to get the next tier of rod sequentially. Uh, I think there's like 10 tiers or 8 tiers. I don't know. There's 8 slots on the, um, on the fishing rod holder. So I could be wrong. I usually come and go on your channel because I have to practice for school next year. My dad is kind of strict. That's fair enough, honestly. School is important if it's a school worth going to. I did not go to a school worth going to, so... specific. Oh, that's nice. What is it, Thomas? What do you need? <sighs> Jesus, man, you are reaching. I mean, I'll take it, but... Nay, that's not right. What? You just gave that to me? Okay, fine. <laughs> what a dick. What a dick. Uh, we're going to go back for the bucket so we can fish. Is there bait? Uh, only clickbait. Only clickbait. I don't know if you saw the thumbnail for this stream, but there's only there's only clickbait. So uh, when we get these buckets and stuff, there is no bait. Basically, it's just a very very simple fishing mini game. Every you roughly you get this for me. seven to nine seconds, the bob starts bobbing. I'll show you when we actually get the fishing rod set up. And then you start catching fish, and it can be some pretty good fish. It can be some pretty crap fish. But the thing about fishing is that just doing it tends to. You seen the catch yesterday? A lobster the size of my head. That's lovely. I don't particularly care though, sir. Um, you can get yourself real fast money with this because the tears increase very quickly. And uh, there's a little dot on the right hand side of the screen, right there, right at the bottom. That is where we're going to drop everything. So we're going to start fishing up. We're going to get some goodies. I played this game and it was super fun, but I almost gave up. Yeah, I've, I've done it a bunch of times. I don't think I've ever finished this game necessarily, but I've played maybe like 50 or so hours of it. It is very fun. It's a very good game. There you go. Free fish. So each one of these is worth about three gold each, which is roughly the same value of all of the ore that we're getting in the gold pan every time we brush the ores. Uh, that one's worth a little bit more. And when we start upgrading the tiers of fish, we are going to start getting more and more expensive fish, which just accelerates the amount of money we get, which means we can start automation pretty quickly. What do you mean by that? Oh, do you mean the, uh... Do, oh, we actually just got a tier 3 fish. That's good to know. So now we need a shrimp to get the tier 2 rod. What do you mean by that? As in, like, clickbait? I set the thumbnail to this video to be like, uh... I, I was taking the screenshots yesterday for thumbnails, and there was one with the Hydroneer kind of in his underwear sitting in the car upside down. And <laughs> I zoomed real close in on it, and it kind of looked like some dude begging for nudes on Snapchat. So I, I just went with that kind of style, and that's the, uh, that is the good old uh, thumbnail that, that I'm referencing. Oh, nice, we got a free shoe. Oh my god, cool can of beans is here? Yeah, he is. Or she is. Get it's in animations. In fact, uh, there's a bunch of cans of beans here, <laughs> from my understanding. Okay, so we've got a few fish already. Probably catch one more and then see what this entire catch is worth. We're probably going to take that tier 3 fish and immediately stick it in the uh, rod bucket. Probably makes the most sense. We'll drop this down. We'll get this tier 3 fish. Because it kind of sucks. It's a puffer fish. It had a description under my shoulder. Like a normal fish, but with more puff. Okay. So it's kind of like the uh, the Snoop Dogg of fish, it seems. So what's this worth? That's worth 100 bucks already. That's already amazing profit over what we had before. Pretty crazy. He? Okay. All right, the cool can of beans is, is a he. What about uh, edits and animations? Do we know what their gender is? Or their agenda is, since they're multiplying like beans? Oh, we're going to get so much fish. I think we're going to need about a grand and a half, unfortunately. It's a big number, but we're going to need about a grand and a half to first set up the first little bits of automation so that we can have everything basically just spew out into a bucket. And then uh, from there, it's, it's basically as simple as getting the automation underground as fast as possible, I think. Because that's really as, as hard as it gets. Right. Getting a lot of fish, though. There's a couple of big ones in here already. That one's uh, kind of big. This one's very big. 
What are we getting next? It's kind of like gambling, isn't it? Fishing in a game. You're a girl? Oh no, a female? No, there are females. There are females. There are females that play games or are interested in games, believe it or not. I I know a bunch of them. I know one that uh, really likes The Sims. I'm dating her. Um, I don't think she's ever played anything else. <laughs> but yeah, she really likes it. She's one of The Sims girls. I just got her a first desktop PC for her birthday in February. And the only thing that I've installed on it was The Sims. I don't even know if she uses it. I don't even know if she uses it to uh, do anything else, but I know she plays The Sims on it. Crazy, isn't it? At least it wasn't like a $5,000 desktop. It was just one of those, like, uh, those old kind of office leases. When they run out, they uh, go on sale really low. They're quite, affo quite affordable. That stream looks shallow. It is a pretty uh, shallow stream, but it does generate infinite money uh, to this. Oh, it's supposed to be an NPC right there. He's supposed to kind of look longingly at our at our catch, kind of wondering why we get the infinite money source and he does not. <laughs> Woman repel it on. <laughs> what is that? Is that a uh, Axe body spray in the smell of Doritos? Extra cheese. You should stream with your girlfriend playing The Sims. I would love to. I would love to do that, but she is very, very busy. And she also has bad eyes, so she can't really use computers for very long. I've been trying to get her onto uh, streams recently so that she, that she can read out chat while I play VR games. That'd be awesome. That would be really, really cool. But until then, maybe she's a bit too busy. She's, uh, she's a banker, you see, and she spends most of her time just kind of like upskilling and learning legislation, which is not particularly riveting, but... You know, it needs to be done. I'm I'm the man child between us. To an extent. Alright, good. We've probably got a good three hundred bucks worth of fish in here. I'm I'm gonna see. We're gonna see. Get that one very cash money. Alright, what have we got here? We've been fishing almost all day. Oh, almost three hundred bucks. I think we'll uh oh actually there's a stock market around the corner over here which refreshes every day as well and it might have a good sale on fish. That is a crap sale on fish. Let's not sell our fish there just yet. But, potentially, we could actually save up our fish and then drop them in the stock market when the price of the fish are high, when the demand is high. Woman hater repellent on. <laughs> oh, crazy. I wonder what that smells like. It's probably cologne. You probably don't need to say uh, woman hater repellent. You can just say cologne. My sis said women need rights. They do. I think, I, honestly, gender is one thing, right? But I think everyone needs a base, a base acceptable standard of living in this planet. Because uh, I don't really feel like everybody has an acceptable standard of living on this planet. I feel like there's too many second and third world countries still, even with the grand age of the internet. I'm sitting here in front of about $4,000 worth of recording equipment and computers, right? And there are people in other countries who maybe their greatest claim to fame is they own a shoe, a single shoe. That's, that sucks. That sucks. It sucks that there are kind of like issues like that around the world right now. But at the same time, I'm just a stupid YouTuber. There's not really much I can do to influence it other than spread awareness. I'm a, I'm a unitologist. I'm one of those guys that just kind of want everybody in the world to like get along. And I know it's, it's a pipe dream, simply because there's so many different personalities in the world and you can't get them all to get along. But at the same time, like, a man can dream, right? A man can dream. I feel. All right, let's get this. We missed that bob, unfortunately. When a woman gets precedent, she should lower the drinking age to five. That would be an absolutely terrible idea, my dude. That would be an awful idea. <laughs> Uh, there is a reason that the drinking age is so high in most countries. Here in New Zealand, it's uh, 18 or 16 if you are accompanied by a parental guardian. But realistically, it should be around about 21 because that's when your brain stops developing the majority of itself. Like, you'll still be developing up until you're about 30 or so at the latest. But when you're in your uh, 20s, your, your brain development really slows down. So... The reason people can't drink underage is simply because it damages the brain almost permanently as well. In almost every case. Okay. Take this over to the stock market. Actually, let's go see in the stock market if it's actually 
changed just yet. It has not. Okay, we'll keep fishing. It should be three. That would be a, a much better age, Catch actually. The right fish and you'll get the next rod. Yeah, thanks, bud. I, I, I know the game. I know the game. I know the game. <laughs> actually, it should be fresh out of the womb. Uh, that is actually a medical condition called alcohol fetal syndrome, believe it or not. It's a thing. It is actually a thing. A nasty thing, too. If you actually see people coming out of a womb with alcohol fetal syndrome, which is basically what happens when mummy has too many wines when there's a baby in her tummy. Uh, unfortunately, the baby suffers for the rest of their life for it. They kind of turn out like, um... I don't want to be really offensive, but if you've ever seen The Hills Have Eyes, the Wes Craven movie, kind of like the country bumpkins in that, that's kind of what they turn out like. At worst. At worst. Whoops. Pulled that one too early. We still have got a single shrimp, annoyingly. We got one tier 3 fish, which is, again, very annoying, because we still can't get tier 3... Uh, base fish without the next rod. A little bit of a shame. Has anybody been watching the uh, the presidential debates recently? Because I have not been. I I have heard that it was an absolute train wreck, and that ultimately I think there were no winners. But at the same time, I don't really care too much. I think it's it's not really like. It's not a secret anymore that the Democrats and Republicans are just as bad as each other, right? Like, everybody kind of knows this now with the internet. Everyone can talk to each other. Because it used to be that when two countries were kind of, like, feuding or going to war, they'd be all like, oh, yeah, glory to my country. That's my side. But now we've got the internet, so we can immediately message the people on the other side and say, hey, uh, what's, what's this like from your perspective? And they come back with uh, things like, hey, yeah, we don't actually want to go to war. Do you? Well, not really. So why are we going to war? Ah, oh, well, government said we have to. That kind of stuff. My friend's mom had too much alcohol during her pregnancy. She turned out fine. It's, it's a chance. It's a, it's a chancing thing. But it is uh, really dependent on frequency. So, like, if somebody drinks a glass of wine each night while they're pregnant, you can guarantee alcohol fetal syndrome. If they drink more sparingly, the chances of getting it are far less. This game is giving you broke as hell vibes. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> it's not going to last forever. It's not going to last forever. Once we get a grand and a half, we're going to get some automation set up, and then we're going to be absolutely rolling in things to do. Maybe not money, per se, but we're going to have a lot of things to do. Yeah, we've got one tier three fish. That's a little annoying. Still ne just need a shrimp. We've got two boots, finally. I don't think we have any feet, so we probably don't have any uh, use for them. But at the same time, it's good that we have them. Missed that one. That yeah, is what it is. It is what it is. Come on, fishy. Come on, fishy. That's not a fish. <laughs> I'm trying to whisper the fish out of the water now, but all I'm doing is whispering boots. Come here, fishy. Come here. Come here, fishy. That one was actually a fish this time. I, it seems as though my fish whispering is, is getting better. She also did mad drugs and smoked too many cigarettes. I don't know about the effects of cigarettes on babies. Drugs, definitely bad for babies. Definitely bad for babies. I think cigarettes is more just kind of like a... Oh, yeah. Actually, I have seen a couple of studies that say that some people can be susceptible to nicotine addiction before they start smoking, if their parents were smokers while they were in the womb. But I can't reference anything to cite right now about that, so it might just be hearsay that I read on BuzzFeed 10 years ago. Could be completely wrong. Who knows? But no, they are, they are bad for you. They are very bad for you. It'd be interesting to see how vapes turn out, because I know that vapes are also one of those kind of like things that people prefer to, to just absolutely load up with nicotine. And I'm not, we don't know what the long-term health effects of them are yet, because they haven't actually been around for as long as cigarettes have. Because the thing is, people were chewing tobacco for hundreds of years before anyone had the idea of lighting them on fire to smoke. Maybe even thousands of years, actually, now that I think about it. Because tobacco is one of those plants that has been around for a very, very specific purpose for a very, very long time. But at the same time, vapes have not been growing on trees for hundreds of thousands of years. What's up with Monster Hunter? Uh, it's a it's a fun game. I'm a Kinsect Glaive main. I basically took that class because all of my other friends quite like the Gunsword Lance or the Bow or the Bongos or anything that requires fighting on ground. 
And if I'm uh, just kind of dashing around the field like I usually do, as as the glass cannon that I always am, then I kind of interrupt their major attack. So when I choose Kinsec Lab, I like to fight from the sky. Also, it's locked behind a membership right now. I'm going to unlock it as soon as I remember to do so. <laughs> Help Duo Lingo is in a van. He's knocking on my door trying to get me because I lost my 500 streak. Y you done goofed. You done goofed. There is... There is Nothing that anybody can do for your sake, unfortunately. I am really sorry to say it, but you're effed. You're effed in the A. <laughs> you're gone. Uh, can we get an F in chat for edits and animations? He's He or she is uh, not going to last. Duolingo is, is outside their house. Should have ta should have taken the Spanish lesson. Should have taken the Spanish lesson. All right, let's see how much of the money we can get for this i think the stock All market i need is the fish on board then you can have a new rod then uh we will go and think about automation is it green no it's, it hasn't even changed what the hell okay maybe it changes every time we sell something at the shop here so it was at uh 94.7 right well that was actually worth quite a bit 94.7 so let's take this over here see if it refresh 94.7. 94.9. So it did actually change. It did change. 94.9. Let's sell one more. Let's sell a boot. Let's sell a boot to, uh... Yeah, they'll still buy it, those idiots. <laughs> they'll still buy my boots. <laughs> and now it hasn't changed. Okay. I think we just sell it to the fishmonger, right? I think it's about 700 bucks worth. 719, that's pretty damn good. What have we got so far? We've got 730 bucks in pocket. We probably need to double that, unfortunately, to get ourselves the uh, things we want to get ourselves to set up. And then we can come back and do some more fishing if we really want to. You got my leg? Yeah, no, nah, Duo Lingo, he's, he's... You're done. You're done, unfortunately. He's basically Jeff the Killer, but post-2015, I would say. I have kind of seen, like, all of the horror ARG stuff that people have been kind of forcing on Duolingo. Like, how it gets super, super aggressive every time you, you miss a streak. I was using it to learn a bit of French. Mon français à sa But I learned a little bit of French. Uh, I was in a French-speaking country at the time, and it was quite helpful. And as soon as I got back home, I wasn't learning French anymore. Uh, the app started giving me a bunch of harassing notifications, and it spammed me with about four emails saying, Hey, don't miss your streak. It's crazy. Oh no, I think I think Duolingo got to the chat. <laughs> Can I make a baby do the rocks workout? Do the uh, like Dwayne the Rocks workout? Dwayne the Rock Johnson's workout? Probably not. Not unless you get them into Zumba first. You might want to might want to get them into Zumba first. My family is at stake right now. Duolingo stole my family, and every time I do my lessons, he feed my family. He came into my house twenty times. <laughs> Ooh, I think the uh, trick to beating Duolingo is just not to install the app in the first place. Can I throw a baby out the window? It's physically possible. It is physically possible. Morally, you may not get away with it. Gotta be said. However, compared to the current people running the president, you would still look like a pretty good option. <laughs> to be quite honest. <laughs> oh, what Americans would give to have somebody who throws babies out windows running for president instead of somebody who... Um, is standing like a statue or somebody who just has a, a septic tank in their mouth at all times. I don't have Duolingo. That's good. That's good. That's good. I, I think that's the technique, right? That's the technique you need to survive the Duolingo apocalypse. This is more than one. He's knocking on my door. Man, Juju, you are, you are buggered. Also, I remembered your name, which is very impressive because I have memory issues. Did I mention that? Whoa! Yeah, baby! We finally got ourselves... Okay, I'm just going to throw that rod straight in the water. We got ourselves a... Oh my god, where is the shrimp? We got ourselves a shrimp, which means we can get the next rod. Right here. Okay. Uh, wonder where all these boots come from. Probably upstream, my dude. So, now we can get the next rod. Uh, this one is a bit of a crapper, so we'll get rid of this. And we're just going to skip straight to the third tier, right there, because we have the third tier fish in it. Excellent. Uh, I'm going to throw this crapper over here into this alleyway. 
and they can kind of like um, create their own baby rods if they if they choose to do so. They don't have a TV, so they're probably going to do that. What a wake you! Rip praying for you. <laughs> Lily is at the back door with a hammer. Who's Lily? Is that like another Duolingo uh, canon? Because I know that Duolingo has a bunch of different characters now. I did see uh, someone's making scare bears of Duolingo. If there, anyone who doesn't know what a scare bear is, it's like those teddy bears, but with like messed up bloody uh, bits of bones sticking out of their face and stuff like that. They're like real creepy looking, but people have started making them out of Duolingo as well, which is very funny. I'm sorry I can't help you. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm away fishing. And quite frankly, I would choose not to help you. I know when I'm beat. The hell is that? think it is a swordfish catch the right fish and you'll get the next rod that's funny because we actually need a crab now and then we can get the the following tier of rod after that too wonderful okay let's get ourselves some crabs i'm on the roof right now hiding your chimney yeah 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 yeah. hiding the chimney hiding the chimney go where duolingo can't fit just make sure you don't get stuck in the chimney because that would suck Actually, speak of getting stuck in the chimney, has anyone seen the trailers for Red One recently? The uh, the Santa movie that's coming out at the end of this year—it looks really good. I think it might actually be a a good competition for the the Die Hard films. You know, because everybody says Die Hard is the best Christmas movie ever, and I th I think now it's got a little bit of competition. Great, we got a boot. Duo made me install, and he took my key. Well, you better learn how to say, uh, give me my cat back in, uh, Catalonian. Otherwise, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna see that cat again. <laughs> no, he got the cat. Yeah, he's, it's... <laughs> it's like those, um, I feel like what we've got right here is one of those instances where there's, like, someone doing something really, really dull, but in the background there's something real explosive happening. We just got our crab. Nice. Nice, 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 All nice, I nice. All is the fish on board. Boop. Then you can have a new rod. Awesome. Uh, we don't want this rod, and we also don't want this one over here either, so we're going to drop this on top of each other. They can have their, um... I don't know the French word for four-way, but there it is. You're looking you at it. You should have seen the catch yesterday. Hell is a that? lobster the size of me head. Is that a catfish? I don't think we've I've ever gotten to this tier, by the way. <laughs> I don't think I've ever gotten to this tier. <laughs> Meanwhile, Chad is being systematically murdered by two. <laughs> Whoa, what is that? I have no idea. It's big though. It's a big one. So now the value of the fish that we're going to get is just absolutely going to skyrocket because we're at a high tier of fishing. Pretty good, actually. This game's got a good fishing mechanic. Like, I've seen some pretty rough fishing mechanics. Like, Stardew Valley's okay, I guess. It's a, it's a mini game. It's a mini game. And there are games that do fishing really well. Like, Far Cry 5 is just phenomenal with their fishing mini game. Also, Red Dead Redemption 2, awesome with their fishing mini games. This one hits the nail on the head in just the right way to not make it seem stressful. It's probably the point. My dog was taken and I'm learning English. Oh, um, dog. The word you're looking for is dog. Or, to or turtle, depending on if you play Elden Ring or not. The Elden Ring DLC looks really, really good as well. I might stream that. I might stream that at some point. Because I played, I played Elden Ring. I wanted to make a playthrough of Elden Ring for the YouTube but I wanted to play the entire thing completely wrong, because that's how I played it initially. I beat Melania, um, absolutely fear in a fist fight, but every other boss I found cheese. I found cheese to, to killing him. Like, there are stealth mechanics in the game if you know how to game the system. Damn, that is a huge boot. I wonder what that's worth. So maybe I will do a series on how to play the game wrong. Okay, let's see what this gigantic boot is worth. Catch the right fish and you'll get the next rod. It's worth three bucks. <laughs> my family, oh my god, my family is dead. <laughs> I can't believe this price. <laughs> Alright, chat, best of luck, best of luck, best of luck. You guys let me know if you need anything. <laughs> if you want me to call uh, uh, Star Triple Five or something like that. Ooh. Fish. 
Very nice. I'm gonna swap arms real quick. I'm gonna fish with my off hand. Oh, that's good. My poor throat. My poor throat has been absolutely hammered this week. Please no one take that out of context. Um, so we probably are getting to the point where we're getting enough money to get the automation set up. But here's the thing. We probably want to set up the automation initially, and then we want to... Ah, no, we're not really there. I think we can... Uh, maybe we might be... Let's go price it up, actually. I was a builder for half a decade. I know how to price things up. So we're gonna go... We're gonna go price up this job. Put me in a tank and so filled it with water. I, I don't know, French. <laughs> buried alive. I suppose you can grab me this. <laughs> All right. I wanted to see how much money we had that I'd forgotten to to uh, to remember. So we need four thirty and three twenty, which is uh, four fifty, eight fifty, eight fifty for these two automation machines. And we can only get one of them each before we start crafting them. If you want to make more of these machines, dude, I am already explaining it. Actually, is the audio all all good? Let me just make sure that the audio hasn't also defaulted. No, it has not. Very good. So 850, we've got 1100 at least. 850, and we also need intake pipe for 36, and we also need probably a few of these iron hydro pipes. Uh, we can actually afford it. We can actually afford to do so right now. Let's go do it. Let's set up the automation. It'll just be ticking, aw ticking away while we're uh, while we're fishing all the way to top tier. We also might want to get ourselves a rod rack so that we can potentially collect the fishing rods that we have. And hopefully this save won't corrupt like the last one. Okie dokie. Where is my money? There it is. Uh, I probably want to put it in this bucket here because we don't own another bucket. And we can put things in the bucket so we only have to carry with one arm. We've probably got one really muscly arm. You should play Genshin Impact or Valorant. Uh, I've got a game requests list on my Discord. If you want to go into any of my recently published videos, there's a link in the description I of those videos. Specific. That's where all the game requests go. All of the ones that I will actually see. Okay, good. I dropped some money in here. Very good. I have played a little bit of Valorant. I am pretty good at those competitive shooters, but at the same time, I don't have the the drive to get all angry about them like every other streamer does. Let's get the automation first, and then we'll see what we have to work with afterwards. Get this air drill down low for I'll the buy this. stuff. And I'll buy this. And we'll buy them. With the button that I uh, complete. Oh, I didn't realize that this was a thing we could purchase. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> All right, where's the button? There it is. Okay, good. 750 bucks. Done. We got 464 bucks left, which is absolutely A-OK. -okay. Let's come over here. I'm actually going to start loading things into the back of this tractor right here, because believe it or not, we own it. We actually own this tractor. Grab this. No, I'm not going to, friendo. Uh, let's drop this in the back seat as well. And we'll get this one too. I usually use like the hand cart just to go to the store and back, but I haven't done so today. We're, we're using literally everything else in this instance. So we're gonna cash. need a single T intersection right here. Boop. And we're gonna need an elbow. And we're also gonna need a straight, maybe a couple of straights. Looking for some it. Maybe two straights, good. Yeah, I don't have Discord. That's fine, it's, it does not take long to set up. But other than that, uh, I don't have any other way of getting game requests other than YouTube comments, and those YouTube comments, I just put them on the Discord anyway. All right, we'll buy this, and we'll run all the way over here. Drop all of this in the back seat so that we don't have to transit it all by hand, which is a little bit infuriating to do once you realize you don't have to do it. And this. Should probably invest in a pallet as well so that we can kind of load up everything onto this little doodad right here and then carry it all in one go too but it costs about 450 bucks so maybe not maybe not just yet and we got the tea good we'll put this up here and now we will drive all the way to our mining facility just over here Boop. i'm gonna set it up in the exact same place as i set it up before uh so maybe we'll actually turn this around as well back it up Put it all the way in here. Very good. Oh, this is weird. I didn't realize I could hop out the back of the car into the back seat. It's pretty strange. 
Okay, so we have this here Wang Doodle. We've got a Wang Doodle. That is its official name. Bring it a little bit closer so we can see this Wang Doodle. We want to swap it up this way, and we kind of want to like suspend it up in the air as well. Uh, we don't want to place that just yet, I don't think. We probably want to do the intake first, and we'll put it like. No, maybe over. Yes. I'm going to place it in a way that we can also start putting our sorting system in as well. So maybe here is a good place for it? Yeah, I trust that. I trust that. And now we want to get everything out here. We want a straight... Oh, that's T-junction. want a straight pipe to whack this basically there. And one more straight... Not go right in front of it, but to go right there, because we want to put a chi junction right here. And then we need an elbow right here to go right. Whoops. <laughs> here. Okay, so this is our very basic setup. We also probably want to raise this by one as well at some point, but we're not going to do that just yet. So we're going to get this bad boy and we're going to whack it right here. And we're going to get this bad boy and we're going to whack it right here. Oh, they're running, apparently. Or not? Well, maybe they're not running. Oh, right, it needs the dirt at the bottom as well. So we're gonna need to put some dirt up its ass right here. Also, so your next post, I'll comment game ideas, heads up, I won't be watching videos look, so I'll be going camping. That's absolutely fine. If you want me to see, if you want me to play a specific game, just like leave it anywhere. I do see all of the comments in my uh, YouTube creation uh, studio, so I will see it. I will see it eventually. Uh, we also need a block to put in front of here so we can put a bucket down as well. So we're gonna go back and we're, we're gonna get ourselves a single floor tile. It only costs about five bucks. We can definitely afford it. We are flush with cash. We could actually buy uh, like at least three of these $5 concrete floors with 300 bucks right there. Good. We'll buy that, and now we'll run away. I'm going to make sure that it's oriented well. I don't think it is. No, it's not. Okay, we need to flip it kind of like, so that the... There's a, a single flat end, and the flat end is really just kind of annoying. Uh, because we want the bevels to show above. Here we go. I think that's flat on the bottom. Yep, definitely flat on the bottom. And the reason we want the bevels is because when you start lining up the uh, floor tiles beside each other, you can't really tell where the uh, tiles start and stop. So we're going to put this bucket like right here, I think. And now we're going to go and get ourselves our delicious little shovel, which we've left in the river over here. Actually, we should probably maybe get this out of the river. Here we go. We are going to take some dirt and we are going to stick it up the ass of this machine right here. And now we turn it on. There we go. And we've got our first resources. Okay, let's turn that straight back off. Uh, because this is not placed well. We kind of want a little bit further back, I think. Like there, maybe? Yep, that's perfect. Alright, let's go do some fishing. Because now we are in a pretty good place to just let this automation run. And fishing's probably still the most lucrative form of early game money. Uh, I'm also going to take this lamp with us over to the fishing spot so we can see in the dark. Hi, I'll friendo. trade you for some guild tokens. Sure. <laughs> Whatever you want, buddy, old pal. All right, so... Let's turn that bad boy on. Very good. At 2 p.m. New Zealand time, I'll leave to sleep because it's going to be 10 p.m. EST. Yeah, I don't really think I've got any New Zealand watches on my channel, which is pretty ironic given my time zone. It seems like everybody just kind of catches the streams right before they're about to go to sleep as well. That's absolutely fine. I don't mind so much. Uh, these videos are going to go up in their own kind of long-form formats as well. Ah, oh, we need another bucket. So we just took our last one for fishing away, didn't we? Got anything interesting? You know I haven't. You watched me just get there and leave. What a dunce. Why does my head hurt? Have you drunk water today? Have you had your coffee today? Do you get, uh, tension headaches? There's I'll many ways. Some guild tokens. Many ways of a headache. Okay, uh... Why are we here? We need bucket. Bucket, bucket, bucket. Take a look Close at it. my goods. Uh. Okay. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, then. Quite a, quite a lump. <laughs> Was there a point to this? Are you trying to sell me something? Is there maybe a police officer that I could report this? I got the this? goods if you got the cash. Huh? Take a look at my goods. I'm trying. <laughs> okay, fine. <laughs> I'll stop trying to riz the shopkeeper. I thought maybe we could get a uh, discount. I made an edit of your thumbnails on my channel, in my opinion. It's really... Oh, I forgot to buy it. It's really bad because I made it. Don't sell, don't sell yourself short. Confidence is one of those things that you got to fake to get. <laughs> my guy got a big one. Yeah, he's got a... He's, a, he's, he's got a salami, doesn't he? He's got a... A, a huge brat burst in the in those pants right there that kind of german sausage that we would spend 330 gold on definitely worth you it you should have seen the catch yesterday a lobster the size of my head what a guy what a guy what an actual guy okay we'll put that there maybe we could put this lamp in the bucket i don't know let's see if it lights everything up no it does not it does not do that okay let's put this here and we'll put this bucket here. And now we will get back to the most important part of the game. Bit late once again. Hello there, Scott's World. Welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm sick. I'm officially sick. I have a cold. It's the start of winter here in New Zealand. First of uh, July, I think, or June. I don't know. I'm too sick to remember what month it is at the moment. But yeah, it turns out Delta Room it did not blow out my voice. It was, it was a cold. I was watching a... Film with a friend, but Discord is having a heart attack. What? How come? Is is it actually having a conniption? Is I mean, it is called Discord. Actually, I don't know if you're familiar with Discord. I've been using it for years, and usually when Discord pushes some kind of update to their system, it's an absolute nightmare because they never test it. The developers of Discord still a good place to chat, but at the same time, like it's never tested. Okay, we're only catching really, really small fish, annoyingly. I uh, know it just wasn't like me. It happens. It happens. Discord doesn't like a lot of people. Discord does not like a lot of people. Certainly did not like me while I was setting up the uh, server. Okay, good. Also, the user interface changes every few months as well. Don't know if you've noticed that, so... If you like, if there's something you want to be able to do on the Discord and you want to like Google like a tutorial on how to do something, you can't because the interface always changes. I also don't have to go because I'm a change to my switch. I'm not tired. Oh, that's good. I'm a little tired. I'm a little tired. That's why we're fishing. Instead of, uh, I don't know, playing like Streets of Rogue or something really action packed. Man, this game, I don't give this game enough credit for how relaxing it is as an atmosphere. It's pretty, too. Finally, I'm playing a game that actually utilizes my graphics card. Crazy, huh? What? It's weird, isn't it? Because I think when I realized I bought a gigantic 40 series graphics card, an NVIDIA graphics card, all I wanted to play was, like, pixel, pixel RPG games. Discord actually hates you. Oh, that's such a shame. Did they ban you? I've seen people get banned from Discord. Ironically, not for doing, like, physical crimes, but more because they harass the developers. Kind of funny. <clears throat> okay, we've got a few fish. I'm not sure what this is going to be worth, but we may want to check. Now, just in case some of these are actually worth heaps and heaps of money. So we're probably going to do that in just a hot second. We'll get one more fish. <laughs> okay, we didn't get any catfish, so we can't get the next tier of rod, unfortunately. How much is this? 200 bucks already wow that is actually pretty good i think we've only been fishing for like three minutes too wow that is a lot of money how's the stream been going uh, uh, uh pretty relaxing you're, you're looking at it we've been fishing unfortunately i played this game for maybe like four hours yesterday and i went to save the game but it deleted everything from the world including the starting items that you have to use to get your first bit of money it also deleted all my money, all of my machinery. It deleted all of the uh, things you can sell. So the game world was completely empty and we had to start from scratch in this instance right here. 
When I left for five days, they logged me out and I forgot my password. Oh, I've had that so many times. I think they demand that you put like a special character in your password, right? Like an exclamation mark or a, a dollar sign or something like that. Because I've had that same issue a bunch of different times. And like 16 numbers, 348 different unique characters as well, different letters. I always come into the fishing segments. Nice. Have you got like a sixth sense for it? Maybe. Maybe you're, maybe you're actively seeking out the fishing. <clears throat> you should post on your community tab on YouTube. Oh, I, I, I should. I don't think anybody actually looks at it though. Oh, is that what we need? No, that's apparently a shark. How much is it worth? <laughs> wow. Wowee. That's probably going to be the uh, the next tier of fish, right? I'm going to drop this in here just in case it actually is. I dropped it right on you its like face. Fish. Not even going to dignify that with a response. Uh, what a dick. What an actual dick. He's sarcastic. He's sarcastic and condescending. I won't chat in four minutes. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. I'm still going to be playing this game, and I'm going to be talking to myself as if uh, as if there is actually somebody sitting next to me on the couch. Even though I'm not on a couch. A little confusing sometimes. All right. I think we're going for a catfish at this point, because I think we've just hit the mother load. We've, we've now got access to the... The highest tier rod, I think, once we catch the catfish. Not because the catfish will give us the highest tier rod, but because I think that the shark will basically be the highest tier. Kind of key, I suppose. The key to the highest tier. What is that? Nothing. It's nothing we want. And... Boop. I'll be watching because it's fun to watch and play lives. Yeah, I actually feel the same. Like, here's the thing, right? When I got into YouTubing, I thought that what I really wanted to do was edit videos, which I just love doing without, you know, posting on the internet. I've been doing it for years without posting anything on the internet, just kind of like making funny memes and edits for friends. But I feel like now, because I'm a fairly sick dude, IRL, and I can't really leave home that much, the social aspect is now what's dragging me to YouTube. So I feel like I'm going to stream five days a week, the, the weekdays, and then I'll uh, upload a couple of real good edits at the end of the week. Saturdays and Sundays. Does that sound good? Does your poop steam? No, my poop doesn't steam. My poop doesn't steam at all. Uh, my poop actually, uh, it, it sings when it comes out. It sounds like an angel's choir. And you're not going to believe this, but it also smells like Turkish delight. I think that's what we want. Is that what we want? Where is it? Where'd it go? It's so big, I can't, can't find it. Oh, we've got so much crap in here. This. No, it's just another shark. Okay. Oh, that means it's 120 bucks right there. What the hell? What do you mean? Good idea. What, the, the poop? Oh, no, the, the schedule. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stream five days a week. Because I, the social aspect of YouTube is why I'm on YouTube. I was a Twitch streamer for a few years before I realized that predominantly Twitch is just a very toxic platform. If you get the luxury of being monetized on Twitch, then Twitch takes a 40% cut, which is insane. Oh, that's what we want. That's that's exactly what we want. Uh, and just the, the general that's culture the right of Twitch, I've never really been... Dude, shut up. I've, I've clearly already figured it out. What the hell is that guy doing? Not much. But yeah, uh, Twitch, I don't really like the community on there uh, too much or... You know, just the general kind of people that are attracted there as viewers. But on YouTube, everyone has been so supportive. I've only received... By the way, I have been doing this daily uploads since last November in 2023. Daily uploads, I've missed one day, and that is because I was not in the city to post a video. Oh, there is actually a next tier. All I need is the fish on board. Dude, shut then your mouth. <laughs> so we need lobsters now. I've received, I've received two mean comments on YouTube since last November. Can I see this? Of course I can see this. If you put it in the chat, I'll be able to see it. Twitch community is so toxic. Yeah, I fully agree. I fully agree. And I feel like 
They're making a shift away from like gaming content as well. Was that what we needed immediately? And more towards like booby streamers. Ah, no, that's not what we needed. It was just a shrimp. And like, even though I have quite nice bazingas, I don't think that that is the kind of audience that I want to cultivate. On YouTube, everyone has been so kind and supportive. I'm about to switch over to my Switch. My iPad is at one. Okay. I'm on another phone. Hello, Goldie Sinclair. What, did you think that uh, chat only works on one device? I think it works on every device that you're logged in on. I've seen people talk to themselves in chat, like have some kind of schizophrenic breakdown, but it's it's functional. But they're kind of like talking amongst themselves and it's it's not, you know, hey, burn that building down. Or uh, slash that guy's tires. It'll be fun. Trust me, bro. Nothing like that. It's more like, uh, hey, did you catch the last, um, oh, what was it? Has, has been hotel, I think. Usually just talking about that. But YouTube is just such a nice place to be. Duolingo is following me. Oh, no. Oh, is that what happened to your uh, your first phone? Duolingo got it. That sucks. That sucks. That sucks. Is that what we need? Right there. What is that? Not a lobster, but it's it's a flying fish. It's flying days are over. That's its description. Uh, wonder where all these boots come from. Well, I'm the one selling them, so probably me. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and check the stock market for value before I sell these fish. Anything? Nope, that's pretty crap. We're going to sell all these fish, and then we're going to go check on our automation station, see what we've mined up in the time that we've... Oh, ho, 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 ho. nice. That's a lot of money. We'll take this money with us, I think. Has been a hotel is quite a good show. Yeah, so I've heard. Um, there are people that come into the chat every now and then to talk with themselves about how good it is. I haven't seen it. I, I don't really have a lot of time to watch a lot of media specific. and when i do i'll i'll spend it watching something that's real good quality like rings of power i've been watching that recently that is a good show wow it's a good show i love it so much um what else is there i started re-watching a kind of like late 2000s series recently called chuck that is so funny if anyone ever has uh, amazon prime and wants to watch just a god tier comedy chuck is a god tier comedy it's funny it's business. very funny uh, yeah, thanks for thanking me for my business. There's dynamite over here. There is a fishing pot. Don't really think that this would be necessarily helpful for us. Probably want to start getting a rod rack to start storing the excess rods that we have instead of just leaving them lying in an alleyway down over there. You found you on the roof? Okay, uh, just jump off the roof and... No, Duolingo can fly. Don't do that. Good recommendation. Blah, 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 blah. It's a good recommendation if you like musicals. If you're a fan of Gravity Falls, it's great as well. That's one I've never actually seen. I thought it was uh, kind of like another one of those uh, Gumball spin-offs, right? Uh, Gravity Falls. Until I saw Dan Harmon had a part in it. The, uh, no, was it Justin Roiland? One of the Rick and Morty guys had a huge hand in, in Gravity Falls. So I'm probably going to give it a go in the near future, but only when I actually have free time. Which I should do if I'm only editing two really good videos for the weekend and then streaming all the weekdays. <laughs> I have Chuck on DVD. It's so good, isn't it? It is so good. I don't know why they don't just rename it to, like, Casey. Well, Casey should have his own spin-off series, I think. Casey is the character that everybody comes back to Chuck for. Love it so much. So funny. Yeah, no, nothing like Gumball. Yeah, that was my initial impression, but I think I kind of judged the book by its cover just looking at the animation and art style of it. A little bit. What were we here for? We need repair tools. We need that immediately. I don't know if our machines are broken, so I'm actually going to come over here and I'm just going to buy a sack of them. Boop, 220 bucks down the drain, and it's gone. We should have about 500 bucks left over from our total money pool. I'm going to leave this over by the automation station. That's right, we wanted to see what we've caught so far. Quite a bit, actually. Wow, we use us. That's insane. Gravity Falls is a heavy lore show. If you like FNAF style of storytelling, you'll like Gravity Falls. I do and I don't. <laughs> I like uh, that there's such a huge community trying to solve the Five Nights at Freddy's ARG, but if there is anybody else, in, if there's anybody else trying to create such a gigantic convoluted franchise, it doesn't really go together very well. Like uh, the Hello Neighbor series, that came out and people were begging MatPat just to watch it 
And he didn't really want to because he didn't have time to do what he did to Five Nights at Freddy's with any other franchise. <laughs> Take a look at my goods. Sure. Uh, I mean, they're the same as last time, buddy. Looking for something? <laughs> Only what you told me to. What a drop kick. What an absolute drop kick. So we should probably maybe flesh out the automation a little bit better. Maybe dig into this hole right here. Actually, let's buy a bed. Let's buy a bed so we can skip through the night. Lily is trying to shoot me. Is Lily a Duolingo thing? I'm not entirely sure if if I know about the, the Duolingo ARG. Bed, 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 bed. Bed. Right here. 24 bucks. That is probably one of the cheapest items in the game, retrospectively, considering what it is. Okay, we'll put it down maybe like here. And we'll go to bed. Ah! Uh, that was weird. Oh, the machine broke. <laughs> I got a good night's sleep and a rough morning's work. Okay, let's fix that bad boy. So we can start spewing out more resources. Now, I know that one of these machines right here, when this one goes on a full cycle until it breaks, it gets around about 1,500 buffery boos worth of money. Lily is one of the characters? Okay. I did not know. We're going to have a nice refreshing dip in this here lake. And then we are going to maybe think about planning out a sorting system or... We could move these machines down underground as well. Which would take absolutely forever. It would just take so long to do. But I think we should probably do it. After we can afford like a tier 2 pickaxe so that we can mine everything out faster. We'll just go and fish for the foreseeable future, I think. Some guild tokens. Finished watching Bride to Cult of Chucky today. We're going to watch Your Next tomorrow. I haven't heard of that. Your Next. Is that good? Is that any good? I actually, I've got a hot take when it comes to film, right? I like work fish. out six days a week, excluding Sundays. I do a PPL split, and because this is how I get these guns. I do a PPL split, and then I eat lots of protein. But while I am doing the exercise, I usually quite like to uh, watch something, or, yeah, usually watch something, not really listen to music in the background. And I'll put on, like, a movie or something. And I've been watching The Fall recently. You know that film about the, the two uh, social media... What are they called? Influencers. The influencers that climb the top of that radio tower and they get stuck, which is very, very predictable. Um, it's actually pretty good. You reckon you could get this for me? People were slamming it, and I think it's because it was made by BuzzFeed. But it's a pretty good film. Gotta be said. Hi, friend. Quite the nose you've got. Like I don't father. suppose you can grab me this. That is so heavy, by the way. That is such a heavy, heavy weight of gold. I don't actually want to do that. So, just thinking about it now. We need, still need more investment capital because next we want to get into the conveyor belt system for a sorting system, I think, before we start moving everything underground. Where's the bucket? Where is my bucket? There it is. Good. I was hoping we didn't bring it all the way back home. Okay, we'll drop this bad boy on the ground right here. And we'll generate ourselves some money while the automation machine generates us some money as well. No clue, first watch tomorrow. I've never heard of your next. I've, I've literally never heard of it. Another fish. Good. But yeah, um, I've been getting through rings of power during my workout. It took me three weeks to get through it because they were one hour episodes. Pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Don't know what I'm going to be doing next, <laughs> to be honest. Because uh, I can only watch Chuck with my girlfriend. The only reason I'm watching it right now is because she's never seen it. All of her friends at some point had recommended Chuck to her at some point. And uh, just, I just stuck it on. I just stuck it on. I just bit the bullet and forced her to sit down and actually watch it. And now we're up to like the third season, I think. Do you want me to learn brain rot for some reason? There's no better place to learn brain rot than on this stream. <laughs> I can be your sole provider of brain rot if you'd like. If you just want to watch a man fish all day in a game that's not about fishing. 
I'm your man. Right here. Especially when I'm sick. Because otherwise I'd be doing something exciting, like uh, doing a Streets of Road challenge run or something like that. I'm going to start doing Streets of Road challenge runs, by the way. I'm very excited to get into them because the second one's coming out soon. And it looks uh, massive compared to the first one. Streets of Rogue 2 looks enormous. There are so many more things you can do. And the thing about the first game that was so genius is that it was very crude in design. But it had like a very arcane studio style of gameplay where you can literally beat a level in any playstyle you want. So long as you're good at that playstyle. And what I've gotten really, really good at is kind of like subterfuge, so to speak. And paying people to go and do quests for me. Oh, Duo is talking trash about me. Do not tell him I exist. I do not want him showing up at my door. I thought I, I thought I got off scot-free when I stopped my French lessons. As long as you have me, I have a constant stream of good games. I've hundreds of played, thousands in my backlog. That's insane. That is, ins that is actually insane. Although I've played a couple in my day as well. I've played a couple of games. Mostly on console, unfortunately. I still kind of have the, the rose-tinted glasses when it comes to PC. Because every time I buy some kind of upgrade for it, it's just phenomenal differences. Like, when I bought my first mouse, I got a Logitech uh, Geo2 Hero. Absolutely insane. It's got so many buttons on it that I've bound to macros that I use every couple of minutes. In fact, I'm using one of them right now. I've got one of the uh, front uh, kind of bumpers set up to just double click for me so I don't have to double click myself. Which I know is lazy, but it also prevents RSI if you're doing gameplay stuff for long periods of time. So, it's a functionality thing. For my hand. It's, it's, it's a human functionality thing. And it works well. We still need a lobster, don't we? That's what we're after. Yeah, we need a lobster. Okay. We can get a lobster. But yeah, I got this mouse. Absolutely fantastic. The only thing I'm a little bit disappointed about is this new keyboard that I've got. It's another Logitech one. And while a lot of people have real bad luck with Logitech, I don't. I've never had bad luck with Logitech. They have, in my eyes, been the most reliable brand that I have ever used. And that's including Turtle Beach, Razer, PHP, uh, even Sony. Just Logitech always blows all of them out of the water. I think some people accidentally get sent duds. Which is okay. When you're a huge tech conglomerate, you don't really have the ability of having mass quality control. So there's going to be a couple of duds, but... At the same time, Logitech have never done me dirty, but this keyboard that I've got here, it replaced the last one that I had, which was another Logitech keyboard, and the W had a little, like, kind of bump on it, so you could always feel where your fingers are, and this one does not have that, so I, I constantly lose my place. Even in the recordings, I'll, like, accidentally move my hand too far over to the, the left, and I'll find all of the extra keyboard keys that aren't supposed to be on any other keyboard. And I'll accidentally, like, change scenes or end a recording or something like that. It's very frustrating. Let's shush. You aren't supposed to be with Amity. What is, what is going on? Is this actually a Duolingo thing? I don't know about the Duolingo cannons. All I know is that Duolingo has two cannons hanging down beside him, which he will use if you don't do your lessons. He's like the, um, he's the mascot of tiger parenting, I think, you could say. All right, I'll get one more fish, and then we will see what we've got. Because I'm pretty sure this is going to be a heap of money right here. We've already got 700 bucks right there. Uh, let's come all over I here. Need is the fish on board. Drop that there. 481. That's bugger all, actually. Okay, I'll still drop it in the bucket. We will merge this with our other stack of cash, which for some reason is here. We've got 1100 bucks. I think we could probably start some kind of sorting system with this, but we, we need heaps and heaps of money. Uh, let's actually go to the city and we'll start pricing it up. No, it's the Owl House. No one associated there referencing my PFP. PFP? I need something specific. PFP? What's PFP? I mean PHP. The, um, they, they used to make a really, really good headphones for uh, Sony products. And what did I say to make you say the last thing? No idea, man. I've got a cold. I am literally just talking out of my ass at this point. <laughs> Uh, at least I'm not all snotty. That's good. It's, it's nice to not be snotty. So, I am going to upload the first episode of this to YouTube, even though the save corrupted, and 
while it's going to be a bit of a gift and a curse, at the same time, I did explain all of the mechanics in that video too, so we won't necessarily have to worry about that too much. Let's come up here, and we want to go all the way over here, and we want to take a look at how expensive all these conveyor belts are. And Conveyor Nation, right here, this place right here. Not the scrapyard, the Conveyor Nation. Hull House is another Gravity Falls style show. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. All right. I thought you were talking about Duolingo, because Duolingo is the, the owl that everyone's been talking about throughout this entire stream so far. So we need a bunch of right splitters. We need a heap of them. don't find better prices than these. Yeah, let me decide that for myself, thank you, lady. We could probably just get two of these, and we can make a very crude sorting system that basically filters out everything. Wait, that's a leftmost one. Don't want that. We want the right one right here. We'll get two of these. We'll hook them up into a, a very crude sorting system, and then we can split off the iron and the gold from all of the other things. The old house is a cartoon on Disney. Oh, did I forget to pay for them? <laughs> I think I did. Business. Good. Okay. Here we go. And I'll buy them. Huh? Huh? Oh, I didn't bring the money. Oh, it's gone so bad. We can't afford two of them, though. Now, I'm not even going to bother, like, try and sort anything by hand in this game because it takes so long. And whenever you have to sort something, it means machines are down for you to be sorting it. Unless you're manually, like, looking over the bucket or just watching what the... Uh, what's my doodle sheens pop out and then you pick those up and stick it into the relevant bucket. But that is quite high maintenance. Got to be said, very high maintenance. Uh, money. I actually see money way over here. Grab this. Grab all this money. Machine's still going along just fine. We've got 1100 bucks right here, which is pretty good. We're probably going to need to uh, get some piping as well, though. Because that is how all of the items in the game work. There we go. Nice and shirtless in my underwear, just driving my... Driving my tractor, jackknifing around the place with my floating money in the back seat. What a ridiculous game. <laughs> I only realise in like doses, I think, just how ridiculous this game actually is. Okay, good. I know I'm not taking the road. I don't think the roads are actually meant to be driven, ever. I think this is supposed to be just the, the best path. Okay, and we are here. Very good. Let's get out. And we'll grab our cash. We'll dump it over here. We actually do have enough for this. But we don't have much left over. We've got 123 bucks. That's not good. That's not good. Okay. So we're probably going to need to do just a little bit more fishing. But we will have a very crude sorting system set up very soon. Now, I'm not against this. Amity is Luz's girl. They're both girls. I have no idea what that means. Dead Rising Deluxe Remastered. Oh, it was just announced. Oh, God. Oh, uh, that's probably the biggest game everyone loves that I never did. I tried to really love the Dead Rising games. I just could never get into them. Because they're on a time limit, right? And I've got this thing about time limits where... Every time I see a time limit, I just assume that the development studio is just absolutely lazy and can't think of other ways to kind of hinder progression. D Dead Rising 2 definitely had a, a time limit. And I didn't vibe that. I didn't vibe that too much. Okay, uh, so we've got all this. This is still spewing out resources, which is grand. Probably want to start setting up our sorting system just over here, which means we need an intake pipe. We need... Uh, one, two, three, four... We'll need four straight pipes, a T intersection. Four straights, a T intersection. We'll get a cunt for this. Four straight pipes, T intersection, and... Nah, we need six straight pipes and a T intersection. Which is fine. We've probably got enough money just kind of like lying around to get all this as well. Five straight pipes and a T intersection. Don't forget. Hello there, sir. Hey, blood. Yeah, not bad. <laughs> Don't know what he said. I hope it was uh, some kind of greeting. One, two... Three, four, five, six, and we also need a T-junction, and we also need an intake pipe. Good. So if I pull this over here, should be good to go. We probably don't have enough to afford that just yet, unless there's money in the bucket. No, there's not. Is there money in this bucket? No. Okay. So we're going to have to do a bit of fishing. I'm going to come over here before I forget, and we are going to grab ourselves our cash from the ground over here. Got it. Nice. Did I just hear something fall out of the machine? 
Maybe not. Okay, good. No HDMI cables working my computer for some reason. I honestly am getting a little bit frustrated that the world is moving away from HDMI cables because I already have a billion of them. What I've seen recently is people kind of moving on to DVI cables. No. Display input. DVI is uh, ancient. But this is so frustratingly annoying to find because they don't come with anything that you buy. I'm not, I'm not fond of it. All of the monitors that I've got here, uh, they all have HDMI inputs and one DVI input. You should have seen the catch yesterday. A lobster the size of me head. I am speaking, sir. But in the back of my computer, with the graphics card that I've got, it's got three DVI outputs and one HDMI, so I, it's very frustrating. Uh, let's get this bucket in place. We're just going to need to get ourselves a couple of hundred bucks for the sorting system. And then we should be good to go. We're probably also going to need a couple of grounds as well. A couple of pieces of of flooring to, to put on the ground so that we can place... Also, we need more buckets, I just realized, so that... Ugh, oh, God, there's so many things to buy in the early game. But that's fine. I'll still do it. The hell is that? I think that's one of those flying fish. I wonder how much it's worth. Let's see. That's a shrimp. How much is this worth? A flying fish. 15 bucks. Okay, so we want sharks. We want like a billion sharks, right? That would probably give us $131 billion at the current exchange rate of sharks. I think. Hmm. I've tried multiple cables and it's just saying no connection. Might be your BIOS. You might have to uh, swap over settings in your BIOS. If that's the case. We're getting lots of shrimp now. What else are we getting? We're getting something exciting? No, just more fish. Okie dokie. Wow, that was a big one. That's a really big one. I wonder if we're going to get like big sharks. I remember when this fishing patch came out. It was free, by the way. You don't have to pay for the fishing or the agriculture or anything like that in the game. Um, it was just added for free. There is a DLC and it's like 10 bucks. It's crazy. And the DLC is like six times bigger than the base game. It's just absolutely insane. This game truly is the definition of a labor of love. But when the patch first came out, these fish were so big that whenever you tried to drop them in the bucket, they would uh, just fall out of the bucket. Sometimes they would like stick on the bucket, but usually not. I don't know what to do, it was working fine, but I got back on from a week vacation, I plugged everything in, and it's just not working. Uh, did you leave your computer on that whole time? You may have had a power surge. You may have had a power surge in that in that instance, and your PSU might be shot. Are you getting beeps? Are you getting beeps every time you turn it on? <laughs> Fishing and slash or tech support here. Because <laughs> if you're getting beeps, uh, the beeps indicate exactly which part of the computer is uh, kind of not failing. Uh, kind of not registering. If you don't get any beeps, it's a PSU and your computer's just not getting enough power at all. Or it's fine. Or it's fine with the screens. Like, again, could be a surge. you got to have, like, a, a multi-box with an RCD in it. A residual current device. If you've got a computer these days. They're really handy. I didn't realize they existed until I got a computer and realized, hey, uh, everything that I'd owned until this point had a surge protector. Now it's turning on, but the HDMI cables are not connecting to to the TV. Yeah, that's a strange one. Uh, try your display settings. Try right-click on, on the wallpaper of your computer and uh, going into display settings, because you, you might just have to um, kind of like set it as a registered display or even download a driver for it. Which Steam did dance in? I have no idea what that means. <laughs> Do you mean like Gaben? Gabe Newell? Or are you back on the poos? Are you back on talking about poos? Which Steam did I dance in? What? I'm a terrible dancer. Well, how do I do that if I can't see the damn screen? Yeah, that's a good point. Um, yeah. Can't really give you much more advice than that. Uh, you'd probably want a level 2 technician. I did a... Bachelors of IT. I never got trained to be a level 2 technician. Yes! Lobster! Oh, finally. Oh, it's a crab. I got excited for nothing. Okay. Back to it then. We're probably pretty close to being able to get our automation set up though. 
We probably only just need like this one last fish and then we'll go sell it all. There we go. Good. 390 bucks, that's, whew, that's pretty good. Let's take that and we will go over to the shop and now we'll buy anything that we damn well please. I thought she had a quest for me. She didn't even have words for me. That's not very nice. Okay, so... <sighs> it is a coin flip now, though. We should be focusing on getting resources deeper, but at the same time, sorting systems are so helpful. Okay, we just bought all of this crap. Let's go and start up the sorting system. We're probably going to want to fire it up over here. The machine's also broken. I think both of them have broken. Because one of them reduces its durability uh, at half the rate of the other one. So, you know, 50-50 chance. Boop, boop. There you go. Both of them are fixed. And let's set up our sorting system. I think I'll put this one like... Would this work? Yeah, apparently that works. I didn't realize we could do it that close. I wasted money on piping. Good. Good to know. Right, and we want to stick one here, and then we want the T-junction there. It's already oriented the right way as well. It's quite nice. Come on, game, cooperate. Good. And now we want another straight, and another straight. And since we've got the other straight, we'll put it in there. And we'll put this one here. Actually, let's put this one just over here, oriented. So no, we won't. We'll leave the bucket there for now. Uh, we'll move all of this uh, stuff out of the way right here. Let's go and quickly have a sleep. Wee! Whoops. <laughs> Wee! There we go. Out of body experience right there. Dear God, I can't spell once again. Which stream did I dance in Yinsen? I don't dance. I'm not a dancer. I, I used to cut shapes to electronic bangers. But that's not really dancing. It's just fancy footwork. And the only reason I learned that is so I could be better, better at martial arts. Okay, so we've got two splitters here. We want to orient them the right way, and we probably want to leave a gap of two. Uh, so that'll be a bend. That'll be a hook centralizer. That'll be a gem polisher. This'll start being the actual sorting system, I would say. There and there. Now, the water pressure literally does not matter, but now we've got a way of kind of separating out our ores into usable gold and usable iron and useless electric stuff. No, I'm not a very good dancer, unfortunately. I can dad dance. I can dad dance really well. But I think half the point of dad dancing is that you don't know how to dance. Business. Man, a little bit premature, don't you think there, bud? Huh? Yeah. Drop this here. Need one. Huh? God. Two. Three. I'll get a few of them. And four. I can't see anything. And five. <laughs> What's going on? I hope they're all on the cart. And six. So we've got uh, enough of those. Probably want a few buckets too. One and two. Take a look at my goods. That guy's a pervert. Three, and now we want to back this baby up into the sales place. How much money do we have? Three seventeen. Oh, that's more than enough. Great. Okay, we're going to gap it all the way to the end here, and we are going to finish off the sorting system. We may go back to fishing, or... No, we will go back to fishing, and then we will definitely just make an absolute beeline straight for the... What are they called? They are called the... What are they called? Uh, the pickaxe. We'll go for the pickaxe. Uh, put that there, put that there. Put that there. Another one here. Just so we can access the buckets. And another one here. Another one there. Sure, why not? And now we've got the buckets, so we can put one here. They actually need to be much closer than you'd think. Close enough almost to fill up with water. Yep, good there. And one more, oh, whoops. One more right here. So we probably need a straight conveyor now to stick these on. That's probably way too close. Like, there, good. So if we get a straight conveyor right here, we can just dump this bucket onto it and it'll split everything off into the splitters that we have already chosen. I'm gonna put a piece of gold on this one here just so that we can kind of start off the, the sorting immediately. And we need a piece of iron as well. Good. Jump up here and want to drop that bad boy right there. 
Excellent. So we've only got 300 bucks left. I don't think we can get a straight with that. We can definitely get... We can definitely get ourselves nothing. So we're going to go fish. We're going to go fish. I think we're going to go and maybe make a mad dash to a grand and a half. Unless... Unless the splitter actually does work. Okay, let's just shut this off real quick. We'll pick this up. Got a little bit of frame drop. And now we kind of want to... Ah, oh, piss. <laughs> it's just going to dump it on the uh, sorting rack. Okay, so it's going to it's gonna split off the gold. Oh, okay. Oh, it works! Ish. Okay, that end one was completely just the worst thing in the world. Ah, oh, poos. Okay, I'm going to pick all these up, unfortunately, and stick them in the bucket, which... This is the early game, by the way. This is what early game looks like. You just literally pick up ore off the ground and put it in a bucket. Unfortunately... This is what peak performance looks like. Put this here in a bucket, and this one in a bucket, and of course this one in a bucket. And we should probably also put this one in a bucket. And since we can afford it, I'm actually going to go and buy myself a construction hammer. Simply because they're cheap and we need one to get all of those iron ore really quickly. Otherwise, we're just going to pick up the, uh, the piece of floor too often. Right here. 105 bucks. Nope, that's not what we want. We want a construction hammer. Where are they? This right here. 42 bucks. Nice, I can afford that. Oop. Yoink. And I take this, and we're going to basically say, hey, don't move ever again to all of the uh, dinglings over here. Ding, dong, ding, dong, ding, dong, ding. There we go. Good. So, now we can pick up all of this iron ore without accidentally picking up the floor as well. Good. Oh, this is going to take ages. We also cannot use the uh, magnet on a stick for this because it'll also kind of draw all of the gold out of there as well. The most fire song is the duck song. What? <laughs> what, what are we talking about? I've completely missed a lot of context, I think. And we'll get all this. I think that's it, but there's probably... Oh, there's still heaps. Okay. Get this bucket and we'll drop it like here, I suppose, so that whenever we drop this, it'll go straight into the center of the bucket and we won't move just yet. There's also one way down below there. Good. Well, this was annoying. <laughs> this was an annoying use of a sorting system. We should have just got that straight conveyor, right? We should have just waited. Okay, now that we've got all of this, we may want to get ourselves a forge and a crucible too, don't we? Uh, let's drop all of this into the iron bucket there. Good. Uh, we'll turn this machine back on so it spews back into this bucket right here. Boop. Here we go. All right, how are we looking? Pretty good, actually. So, I'm going to go get myself a crucible, and I'm also going to get myself a forge, and then we can start maybe potentially melting things down into ingots, which would be really handy. Take a look at my goods. Yeah, I'm trying. I'm trying. I realize he's not talking about his junk anymore. How much money have we got? 209 bucks. That's not amazing. Let's see what all of this costs together. We may be able to get one set of these. We can get one set of these. Good. Uh, I think the crucibles are really, really cheap, so we could probably start replacing the buckets with these crucibles and not use every single little poly item that spawns. Uh, let's put this here. Let's put that there. And we'll get our crucible and we'll stick that next to it. What is my childhood brother? I do not have one. I have two little sisters. I do not have any brothers. And I don't really talk with a lot of my family either, so... Don't really have many cousins either. Okay, we'll drop this... Yeah, we'll drop this here. And then we'll just dump all of our iron into it. Like so. Actually, I'll tell you what. We'll put this back down. We'll take this right here and we'll stick it next to that. So that we can kind of see what we're doing from above that there. Great. And now we are going to drop this here. Damn, that was risky. <laughs> that could have literally gone everywhere. Alright, what's going to happen? We are literally watching a pot melt. There it goes. Okay. Let's go get that mold and we'll see what kind of ingot we get. Because we are now basically at the point where we're condensing a lot of the resources that we get. I got the goods if you got the cash. There it is. 
Yoink. Oop. Yoink. Missed it. We're going to pour all of that molten stuff into this cast right here. Probably also uh, think about getting some scales too, so we know exactly how much it weighs. Oop. There we go. So that's one done. Again, don't know how much it, it's worth or costs. Uh, we probably also want to do the gold as well. Oh, that sucks. Okay, we got to drop all of this gold in there too. It's actually a pretty big pot right there, so maybe we will have a lot of money on our hands with this. Okay, good. And now we pick it up. We cast it. I know it didn't look like anything got cast right there, but that's because it's under this, or it was in that. Hard to tell. Okay. We'll drop this bucket back down here, and I think at this point, we could probably sell this one ingot and then have more than enough to get a straight converter, uh, conveyor belt, so that we can actually get our sorting system up and running. It's very, very cool. And maybe we'll get a gem polisher, maybe we'll also get another conveyor belt that kind of filters in from the, the machinery. And then we're probably going to go... We're going to fish up enough. Don't mind me. Oh. Just about. We're not going to do any fishing, actually. We have more than enough money now to get ourselves a tier 2 pickaxe. And we're going to use that to excavate down to the bottom layer of this here mud. Hi there, friendo. You made that soup yet? That's not soup. That's a... That's iron ore. Someone was drinking when uh, when he was in their tummy. Guarantee that. Okay, we will go to the store. Uh, let's figure out what we need first, because we've got two and a half grand. We need a pickaxe. We're going to get a pickaxe. We need a straight pipe, which we'll probably just go to the shop and get now. Uh, oh, we're also going to need a, a hook to turn the water on and off so that we can actually kind of use the sorting system in real time as well. Right. Right, 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 right. Right. Okay. Straight, straight. Bend, straight. We need three straights and a bend. We'll see if we can afford that after we get the pickaxe. Because we're at the point now where we need to start crafting more machines. I think with the amount of gold that's coming out of that machine, we could probably afford a lot of the prerequisites to get underground. But again, like... We also need a lot of money to get the conveyors to get the ores up above the ground to the sorting system that we're going to put in place as well. Which I didn't really think about too hard yesterday. I did want to dismantle the entire thing yesterday and just kind of rebuild it from scratch, but... You know, I, I suppose just having the entire world be blank is just as good a thing, honestly. We'll come out here and let's grab these coins. I think we could probably afford most of what we need. Let's get that pickaxe first, actually. Just before I forget, because it's here. It's in a different you store. Find better prices than these. Yeah, I know. Uh, you're the only store that sells some of the stuff. Right here. 742 bucks. I know it's a little bit expensive, but it's worth it. It is actually worth it. So we need uh, four straights and a bend that goes right. All right, we'll leave that there and we'll go and get our money from the store over here. 1600 bucks. I don't think this is going to be enough to get all of it. This is out of the blue, but in your opinion, who is the best Bluey character in the show? It's got to be Take Bluey, right? My good. It's got to be Bluey. Because I don't know any other characters. <laughs> I don't really have time to watch a lot of TV. So we don't want this that moves left, I think. I can almost guarantee it moves left. I think we want the right conveyor. Yeah. Definitely. So we want one of these, and we want a... Uh... Oh, we can actually afford four of these. Wonderful. And one more over here. Come nice! How much have we got left? 500 bucks, wowee. We're in a really good place right here. That money actually just saved us a, a real boon. Uh, grab this, stick it in the truck. Very nice. And we'll grab this, and we'll stick it in the truck. And very nice. And we'll grab this, and we'll stick it in the truck. And very nice. Band of you, is that also a character in the TV show Bluey? Is that also what it's called? Because I, I don't know. <laughs> I just don't know. Okay, not sure we leave all the money. Oh, actually, we... Oh, you know what? We have enough money to get the gem polisher. I'm getting it. It's pretty bougie. 
but I think it's completely worth it. Like, 100% worth it. Because now we can start selling gems. We don't have to... We don't have to cut them by hand. We can start selling the gems for a profit. Which means all of the gems that we already have in the bucket at the end with all of the bright stuff, uh, we can convert that into a sellable material. Wonderful. Absolutely fantastic. Oh, I didn't actually realise this session would go this smoothly. I thought we'd kind of be floundering for hours on end like we were in the last session, but it seems like... It seems like we've got a pretty good handle on the early game now. Okay, we'll come over here, and I am going to kind of reverse into here so we can access the goods while we're using them. We'll get up. All right. My favourite's at Chili and Bingo. But I'm here to say good night or good afternoon because I would be able to... Okay. Good night or good afternoon. It is afternoon here where I live. Um, but good night for you. I imagine it's good night for you. You have a great sleep. I hope. I hope everybody here has a great sleep. My girlfriend woke up without having a, a great sleep yesterday, so I know what it's like to... Huh? To deal with that. <laughs> Uh, which way is this oriented? This way. Perfect. We need one straight pipe. Okay, so one more straight pipe, and we've basically got the sorting si the basic sorting system out of the blue. Luke Boyle Morales. Hi! Welcome to the other stream! Uh, I saw you... You were the one that got... Uh... You were like five minutes too late for the last one, right? For the last stream that I did yesterday, the same game. Or not. Or not. Okay, uh, there's another straight one here. I was late. Okay. There's no such thing as late on YouTube. <laughs> there's no such thing. There's only really, uh, you know, you watch a video and you don't. It's fine. No one minds. The only issue is you can't talk to me in real time. So, straight pipe. A single straight pipe. We only need a single straight pipe. That's it. That's all we need here. Let's not get, let's not get bogged down with the other things that we could purchase. We've got enough. Good. We're being frugal. We're getting a single straight pipe, and then we're going to polish off the sorting system. Very cash money. Okay, let's drop this bad boy right here. Let's turn this machine off, because now we want to move this bucket away from here. We'll put this straight pipe right there. Yep, I'm pretty happy with this, actually. We'll get a straight conveyor right here. Hopefully it's pointing the right way. It is not jam right there. Now we'll turn this bad boy back on. And now the sorting system is going to function as intended. So this one piece of gold comes straight out of the machine without outer interception and goes straight into its bucket. Nice. What about LGBTQ pipes? Uh, I'm not sure they've actually been added to the game, unfortunately. I think there's only T-junctions. I think that's about as diverse as the pipes can get, unfortunately, so... Uh, don't complain to me. Yeah, complain to the developer of this game, whoever that is. That there's not an LGBT uh, Q pipe, of course. Right. Wow, this is actually fantastic. So we are way ahead of schedule too. I'm actually going to go and I'm going to buy a couple more of these crucibles and forges so that we can kind of automatically smelt them straight into here. Or we could go and fish up a grand and we could get some automated forges as well. Like... They're both very much options that we could use. Perhaps. It's getting kind of dark. I think we might want to just go to bed real quick. So come over here. And we'll jump <laughs> over ourselves. <laughs> that is so stupid. <laughs> That's so stupid. <laughs> oh, what was the developer thinking? No LGBTQ pipes and also you can jump on yourself. No disrespect, but what the hell would make an LGBTQ pipe? I think it's like the, the ones that stick out in all directions, right? The all axes, X, Y, and Z axes would, would probably qualify. It's the most diverse. For some it. Either that or it's just like a pipe that bends in really, really strange ways that uh, overcomplicates just one straight pipe. <laughs> and there you go. <laughs> Don't know what that means, but hey, take it for what it is. Okay, we'll get this cork. We're actually going to increase the water pressure so that we can get some faster speeds. Might be a good idea. Because of representation. Fajana Yasmin, hi. Hello there, Fajana. How are we doing today? I hope I said your name right. People don't really say my name right, though, so maybe you're among friends. Now, we should probably get hammered, right? Let's find the... Where the hell did I leave it? 
the old ding dong. Ding dong breaching tool. Bre ah, there it is. Good. So we're actually going to lock these pipes and these conveyors in place because I don't want them to move. Here, there, and another one here and here. And there's a pipe there. I'm going to get that one and this one and that one. And we're not going to knock that one there. We're going to get these two machines because we don't want them to move either. And we should be pretty good. So now we just need a switch on this thing so we can turn it off whenever we need some of our resources. So I'm going to go back to the store and I'm going to pick one of those bad boys up. Duo knows where Yinsen lives, you gotta run? Oh no, did someone dox me to Duo? Don't tell him I haven't done my French lessons since 2016. <laughs> Cause I haven't! What are these costs? These are actually really cheap, we probably could get a couple of these. Might not be a bad idea. Hmm. It would only be like a hundred bucks per splitter to automatically smelt things. What are we here for? We're here for the hooks, aren't we? Valve hook. Good. 85 bucks! Good grief, man, that's daylight robbery. Gonna have to go back to the truck and get some money out of the back. Where is it? Where's the money? Oh, we've got the gem polisher hook. Finally, yes, good. Uh, so we're actually gonna stick this right here. And what that does is it's gonna cut gems when it flows through. We could probably actually get this thing here at the end. Replace the bucket with the hook that we just bought. No, we didn't, we need the money. Okay, we'll do the gems after we get the money. Where is the money? Did I not bring it back with me? Oh, that was clumsy. Okay, we're gonna go fishing for a bit. Someone leak my IP? Mickey Mouse rob in the bank? Well, I mean, Mickey Mouse can rob a bank now. He's, he's not uh, copyright protected. Tools. He's probably gonna need the money. I don't know if anyone can leak my IP though, right? Because I've got a VPN, so... You kind of need a VPN, by the way, to, to stream on, on the internet. Otherwise, people will dox you. And your Broker's Hell Lord vibes are catching up faster. Well, this guy's got Broker's Hell vibes. Oh my god, look at this scurvy. He is green. He's got a magnificent moustache, though. Wow. Kind of jealous, actually. Uh, we need our bucket to fish. We need our bucket. There it is. Where's the money? Put it in the bag. Oh. Gosh, Mickey. Aren't you a little concerned that maybe shooting civilians would get the gops in here a little faster? Shut up, Goofy! Ha! <laughs> your left moustache is better than your right moustache? Ah! Oh, what? I do sleep on one side. I sleep on my left side. Isn't that funny? The side I sleep on looks better. Don't mind me. I'm just mooching about. No, I, I usually style it. I'm not going to when I'm sick. I'm just not going to style it when I'm sick. Because you know what? When the boogers come from, from the cold, it's free moustache wax. It's free moustache wax. <laughs> so, okay, so we've got a few fish now. One of them actually already looks like a pretty big ticket fish. I don't think we're going to find another lobster in this wee session here. <laughs> I love how the bob just goes above our head. <laughs> like we can fish like this if we damn well please. <laughs> Blot out the sun. Hey there. Oops. Probably didn't mean to cast that onto land. I think we actually caught a fish as well. Yeah, we did actually catch that fish. That's funny. I don't even need eyes to play the fishing mini game anymore. I used to grow up. I used to grow up with um, with people fantasizing about Mickey Mouse doing adult things like uh, Robin Banks and um, tax fraud, getting absolutely sloshed, going up, making a mess. Have you ever tried those little lumps of bread called cheese bread at a, Bra a Brazilian palace? I've never been to a Brazilian palace, unfortunately. Uh, I'm from Southern New Zealand, where if anything has the word Brazilian in front of it, uh, people don't really like it because it means it's going to hurt. Really? I, th I think that's pretty much Southern New Zealand's interpretation of Brazilian um, palaces. Oh, place. No, I've never had I've never had a, uh, a lump. I've never had a lump at a Brazilian place. I'll try anything once, though. I tried a Brazilian wax once. <laughs> Not going to do that again. <laughs> Hell no. I couldn't be paid to do that. Good grief. Beauty is pain, though. Beauty is pain. Whoa! That's a big one. 
I think that's a big tuna. Excellent. I always find it funny that you can uh, you can you can tune a piano, but you can't tune a fish. All right, I'll get one more fish, and we'll see what we've got to work with. Uh, we have this enormous. It is a tuna, not spelt tuna. Okay. Oh my god, what are you doing? You just saw me pick up this enormous fish, and I think I just got mugged. You should have seen the catch yesterday. Uh, yeah, hold that thought. A lobster the size of my head. Where the hell is he going? Where the hell is he going? Oh my god, I didn't realize any of this was in here. I've never been in here. This is big. What is this? Is this a fishing store? One day, I will buy a shiny new truck. Yeah, not with the... Not with that kind of scurvy, buddy. I actually did not know any of this was in here. Hello, blood. We probably want to get a fish bucket then, right? Or a fishing pot or something like that. We can't like place them outside though, unfortunately. Don't mind me. 1066 checks forms are good. They just have the right amount of toner at the spot. Okay. Got anything <laughs> okay. interesting? <laughs> when you do for your first game, should be I expect you to die two and three VR game. My first VR game I've already decided is going to be uh, build strategies for Blade and Sorcery because I I am really good at martial arts. I've done it for two decades and it translates well to, to VR. Whoops, we are not fishing, we are selling this. It is so fun. I've got one called uh, Bob the Builder. That is next to no money. Bob the Builder is really good. You get a hammer and a pickaxe and basically you want to knock someone in the chin with the hammer and then while they're lying on the ground you put the, ha the pickaxe on them and you, you hammer it. <laughs> to them. It kills everyone. Uh, even enemies wearing armor. It penetrates. So, very cool. Divorce papers are fine too. For some reason, every time my wife leaves, she leaves me a plate. You reckon you could get this for me? What is it? <sighs> God, why did I accept this guy's offer? That's like 500 bucks worth of gold right there that he's just, he's just desperately begging for on the side of the road. Not wow. Not water pressure and your machines will fare better. Okay, thanks. Well, I've got money. I've got money, by the way. What are we buying with it? That hook? We're buying that hook. Excellent. And now our sorting system is virtually complete. Ish. It's virtually complete ish. Okay, that's fine. I will end up playing it. I do own them. I do own all three of those games, and I haven't actually played them yet, but I want to, first of all, actually get my VR set up. Also, check out this black magic. Whee! Woo! Weird. Wonder how that goes. But yeah, I will play them eventually. Duck Hunt is another one that's, like, out there as well. Please give me the GDP of a small country. <laughs> well, half the GDP of, uh, of Africa, if, at, at worst. Hi, love. Hi. Hi. Joy, do you want to show the internet? Yeah. Really? I don't, I don't know if I want to put my feet. Yeah, best not. There can be some real perverts on the internet. Isn't that right, Chad? Isn't that right? My girlfriend's come in to show me her shoes. Okay, they are fantastic. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back to it now. <laughs> My girlfriend just came in to show me the shoes I told her not to buy! Can you believe that? Can you guys actually believe that? She came in to model off the shoes I told her not to buy. Oh my god. Oh my god. And I don't think she realised that I told her not to buy them. Oh, she showed me these shoes on the internet like three days consecutively. And I just said no. Don't buy those. They're really expensive and you won't wear them very much. And now she owns them, I guess. So, oh well, sucks to be me. So, now that we can actually shut off the sorting system, we can... Oh, actually, hey, let's test this out. So, we've got this bucket of crap here now, right? Boop. Let's drop all that there. And now, all of the gems should polish. Let's see. Yep, all of the gems have polished. Wonderful. So, that works. Uh, the machine's broken, though, unfortunately. So, let's... Remedy that right the second. Good! 
Excellent. Uh, there's also this bar of iron, which we probably do want to keep. We do want to keep that bar of iron. Because we can craft other machines out of it. We also probably want to take this gold and smelt it. So we'll do that now. We'll do that right this second. We'll turn off the sorting system. We'll take this. We'll dump it into the crucible right here. Boop. Oh, thank the Lord. I actually thought that we were going to have overshot some of the gold on that. And now we'll turn the sorting system back on. Boop. And we're good to go. Let's grab this. We will cast it. Boop. And now we're going to go sell this ingot right here. This ingot right here is going to go straight to the shopkeeper. I am sister. You are a poopy and me need Robux. Bro, you got hacked. <laughs> you got hacked. A lovely what? crack bucket. It is a crack bucket, isn't it? Okay, we got six hundred and nineteen dollars. Uh, minus the the one in that number. Nice. Crossbow. Oh, crucible. Yeah, I get it. 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 I need something specific. Okay, I'm not a whore. Go find your own. Let's put this in the shop right here. We're going to start getting crucibles so that we can start automatically smelting things as they uh, come down. One here. And I'm going to come back for these things with the cart, I think, because there's enough to justify it. So, now that we've got enough money, we're going to go and uh, start digging ourselves a big trench into the dirt. Let's go get the cart so we can get all of the stuff over to where we need it. And I think we'll start phasing out these buckets in exchange for these uh, crucibles here. Probably didn't need two crucibles to buy. We probably just needed the... No, we definitely needed... We definitely needed three. Because the electric stuff, that also smelts and it's really annoying. All right, good. So now that we're in here, drop that bad boy right there. And let's start loading it up. One. And two. And three. And four. Huh? Uh, thank you, physics. And there we go. Nice! And so we'll come down here. We'll finish off this sorting system. Then we're going to go underground, I think. Going to go underground for a little bit. In fact, I'm actually going to... I'm going to hit the lights. Let's go hit the lights right now. Let's, let's turn the sun on. Using this thing here. Boop. And there we go. <laughs> I can't believe that's actually a thing. I don't think the sleep animation was actually added into the game. Okay. So, we now want to turn everything off again. And now we want to start replacing everything, don't we? So, this one's going to be gold. Let's drop that low. And we'll get a hammer out. Unblock this. Unblock this. Good. We'll move these. Actually, we'll just move them out by one, I think. There we go. That one can go there. And in place of this, we are going to stick uh, Forge and Crucible. One right here. Very nice. Two right here. Very nice. Now we want to start sticking the actual pots on there so we can boil up all of this ore as soon as it goes in. Boop. Now, I don't know if this is actually going to flow into the pot or not. So we're going to have to turn it on and just check that it doesn't overshoot it and just make a mess. Because it may make a mess. Yeah, it looks pretty good to me. Let's come over here and we'll hit this lever. It works. It actually works. Okay, that's fantastic. It functions. <sighs> the Holy Trinity Crucible, Crucible, Crucible. It is, isn't it? The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit right in front of us here at magma temperatures. I gotta go? Okay, bye Luke Boyle Morales. You enjoy your evening or your day or um, whatever space exploration you're doing. This is satisfying. Just watching these buckets fill up now. I think this should be the uh, the mechanic of the game that we focus on now. It's just filling these buckets up. Okay, so we still need a right bend for the sorter, which means we need another one of these crucible systems, which may be a little bit obnoxious. Uh, let's dump all of the iron in here. Good, nothing overshot. Drop that bucket there. And there's some gold here too. We'll drop this into the gold bucket. There we go. And we'll drop that onto that bucket right there. Stack them up good because we don't really need them necessarily. This one right here, I don't think we really need it either. So we'll 
get rid of this for now. Put it over here, I suppose. All over here. Great. Wonderful. We still have a cart. The... We... Okay, so here's the thing, right? I'm going to actually turn this off now. We're going to pick this bucket up. And we are going to put it at the start of the workflow, just over here. The reason for this is because we've got so many uncut gems in there that now we are going to cut them and make them into an actual commodity. That should be good. All right, let's see them. Let's see them get cut. Come on. Come on, gems. Get cut. Oh, my God. There were so many of them. Wow. Good grief. Look at all them falling into this bucket right here. My God. That is satisfaction at its finest, I think. All right, now, let's start doing the thing we were talking about doing for the last 20 minutes. We'll actually start excavating this area. Ah, thank the Lord we're not using a crappy tier one pickaxe. I think straight hole down might be a good idea. And then we just start piping things in and out. I'm going in the hole. I'm in the hole. All right, we're almost at the bottom. This isn't a deep area. Okay, good. We have hit the bottom. Uh, we're actually on a slant, which is not amazing. We don't want to be on a slant. We want to be at the deepest recess of this place. So maybe we want to do that ASAP. Maybe we want to uh, kind of like dig out further down this way, because I know there's a little kind of like ramp going this way. Oh, well. Who needs the sun? Who needs the sun? My sister just ran into a door. Oh, man, I miss living with my sisters. They used to do the same thing over and over again. My little sister has a, has a scar because she was climbing a wine glass rack and she pulled it over on top of herself. Just uh, dumped heaps and heaps of wine glasses all over herself. They all shattered and broke. Man, it was actually probably not as funny now that I think about it. But still, it was nice having them around. It was nice having the noise around. You never know. You never know how much you miss the sisters until they, uh, until you or they leave. One of the two. Okay, what's down here? So we've also got uh, relics that we need to find as well. There's a couple in this area here, and if we dig out the whole place, we'll find the relics. But I don't necessarily think that it's going to be massively lucrative for us to find them. Because we also need to own a bunch more land to do everything else too. Okay. Still digging up this wall right here. Just a little bit of excavating. Exhilarating excavating. We probably need something big, don't we? If we had lots and lots of money, we could probably fire a nuke down here. But we don't have lots and lots of money. And <laughs> we don't have a nuke. Actually, maybe that should be the way. Maybe, maybe we should just get nukes. Maybe we should just get a pipe down here. We should maybe manually just kind of dig out the, the, the brush, the brush and shovel technique. We should do that down here for a little bit until we can afford bombs to kind of excavate out an area. She has a history of running into doors, especially with Q-tips in her ear. What an unusual history that is. <laughs> Although I see, I see the connection. I see the connection. It's an unpleasant feeling, isn't it? Especially when you go too deep and you have to cough. Sometimes I want to run into a daughter as well. Okay, so we've got a uh, fairly sizable little chunk mined out already. I'm not sure if we could fit the machinery that we need to be down here, down here just yet, though. That is my main concern. We need a huge amount of money to get uh, a huge amount of... What are they called? Conveyor belts. And once we get heaps and heaps of conveyor belts, then we can start kind of like piping up from here to our sorting system above. Because it's kind of a little bit frustrating to have a sorting system down below. Especially when you need fast access to your goods. Uh, this might actually be enough though. This might, this might be good enough to slot some machines down in. Okay, let's start. I think the river was this way, right? Because I think this is where the hole was. Maybe? Hard to tell, actually. Can't see. Uh, let's just dig straight up and uh, hope from there. Alright, what side is this? What's, what's, where are we leading up to? What is this? Is this Sparta? 
No, this is a dead end. I don't see any river or bridge or anything like that, so kind of hard to tell a little bit. Maybe we should use the cheat to get out here and ah. So it was actually very close to where we wanted to be. We probably want to put an outtake pipe out through here, right? But here's the thing. We also want really clean water. So we're going to need some kind of... We're going to need a series of water cleaners. Ten, I would say. Why don't you put the bar that you just make into a pot with something in it already? Why don't you put the bar that you make into a pot? Oh, yeah. That's actually a really good shout. I forgot that we had the bar. Good idea. Good idea indeed. Let's do that. Boop. It didn't fill up very far. Right, so to get this kind of like next project that I'm thinking, we're probably going to want to stick an outtake pipe maybe here. And then we're going to need about 10 straights, two elbows, four elbows. And then we're going to need a straight shot down into this hole right here. Mm, no, no, we don't want that actually. We instead want these conveyors to hook up all along here. Here, don't we? So that we can also stick machines up top here. But the ones underground are going to be much more efficient. So maybe we just cut our losses and think about setting up the machine we already have down south. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. I, I think we, we just spend our energy doing that for a bit. I think it would only take like an hour, right, to set up all the machinery down here for automation. Might take a bit of money. We're getting uh, gold at an alarming rate, and now that we've got access to the lower levels of this area, uh, we can also start generating our own gold and uh, other kind of exploits as well with gold panning, if we choose to do that. We are going to need to get the pipe that filters water down here to do that regardless of what we choose. So that's probably going to be the first thing on my mind anyway. Okay, I'll dig out some of this. And once we've got kind of like a, a nice egress down here, I think then we'll start setting up everything. Because we are definitely going to need conveyor belts that kind of like just filter everything out of this mine right here. Even if it goes into a bucket that we have to manually stick on the sorting system to save money, that's absolutely fine. We can, we can do that. But the sorting system is going to have to be completely separate from the machinery on the circuit as well. Just because we, we want the machinery to keep running even when we don't want the sorting system to continue uh, cycling. Because if it continues cycling and we re remove a bucket or a crucible or something, then we make an absolute mess. Okay, good. I'm starting to send greenery by mining here, so we, we're making good ground. Probably don't necessarily need to be doing that the way we are doing it here. Probably be mining slightly further upwards to get the the best kind of effect, area of effect for all the machines that we want to set up down here. This actually looks generous enough, though, I would say. We can always move the machinery around as well but to kind of min-max it if we need to do so. So this is good. This is good. Why don't you try and make a farm? Oh, right, yeah. Why don't I do agriculture? That is a great question. I don't actually know how. <laughs> <laughs> There's been so many updates to this game. I'm really good at the mining and the automation side of things. I'm not so good at all of the other things that have been added to the game. Like the fishing, I'm not terribly good at. That The tier that we have had in this session is the highest tier fishing rod that I have used in the game. Farming, I've never done it. I All I know is that you need a bunch of farming equipment to do so, so you still need a little bit of investment capital. Man, this is satisfying to watch, isn't it? We need more machines. We need heaps more machines. Do we have scales? No, we don't have scales. Okay. Don't have scales. So, maybe... Maybe we take the machines that we already have set up out here and we set them up down here. I know that the water pressure is going to be lower, so we'll have diminished capacity, but it should be A-OK, -okay, I feel. Okay. I'm going to go and get some more pipes, I think, so that this can keep on running while we kind of set up this underground area. And then we'll move the machinery as we need it. To start? Oh, m make a farm to start. Yeah, I again, I don't know how. It's it's probably lucrative. I don't know how lucrative it is, uh, but I know that fishing is just super easy to do early game. 
Right, so we need lots of straights. We need a uh, an intake pipe. We're probably going to need a bit of money for this, actually. We're going to need this. We're going to need 10 of these straights. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, that's only going to cover two lengths of blocks. So we're also going to need more of these goddamn things. And we're also going to need a few of these elbows, too. So we'll get a bunch of these bad boys. Maybe like five would do the trick, I think. Let's see how much this costs before we kind of double down on just spending all of our money. Start make a wooden hoe or buy. I, you can't make anything out of wood in this game. Uh, you can only craft things that are kind of like valuables. The crafting in this game is surprisingly very limited. But buying might be a good, a good shout. I think we need... We need guild tokens for the relevant guild to start that. And I don't know where we would go. I could probably actually look, though. Because we've got a map just over here that we start with that the other save game deleted. Okay, so if no one's ever seen the map before, we are currently at the Ember Cradle. There's kind of like a little blue diamond in the right next to Ember Cradle on the uh, west side of the map spinning around. That's us. We are the blue diamond. I'm pointing towards the fishing, the shop and then towards the fishing village. Bridgeport is the city that we keep going and buying all of the conveyor belt stuff at Icehelm. You would have seen it in the last session if you were here. But other than that, you won't have seen it at all. Mildew's Aquifier, that's a place we buy. Snowrun Falls, also we have to buy that. Bre Drek Quarry, we have to buy it. South Hope, we have to buy it. Uh, now there is Grangefield, which is across the entire map. It looks like it's selling machinery and also agriculture things. So I think maybe next time we go out into town, next time we go out into town, I'll go and buy some agriculture stuff. And we'll kind of like, after we get this automation set up down south here, we'll definitely think about the prospect of farming while we kind of wait for it to churn out resources like this. Because I think at this point, we are now choked up by money. Right, we're choked up by money. We want to get this one probably as close to shore uh -huh. as possible. Like here. That is not quite in line. Let's bad boy back up and we'll stick it here. That's definitely in line. So the reason I got so many straight pipes is because we want a bunch of water filters, but we don't actually have water filters yet. We don't have access to that. So instead of doing that, we are just going to kind of pipe everything in real rugged, I think. We also need a T-junction to do this as well. Forgot about that. Uh, let's put this one here. Don't want to waste our elbow pipes because we've got lots and lots of straight pipes. And here. And one more just over there. And another here. And oh, that's an elbow. Uh -huh. Probably don't want that just yet. Probably another straight one here. Oh, that's way too far away. Right here. And now I think we need to elbow downwards. Let's see where it lands. Uh, no, actually, we want one more straight, because we want to go straight to the, the flattest part, don't we? Right there. Okay, and now we need an elbow. Actually, we could probably just skirt this down into the flattest parts. We probably don't need that, and we probably don't even need this one there either. We could probably just elbow downwards straight from where we are. Right there. And we're going to flip this bad boy around. There, and down here, and... One more, maybe? No, two more. And then we'll need another elbow. That looks good. Elbow. Uh, there we go. And we want to put this right at the end down there. Perfect. Great. And now we want a straight... No, we want a T-junction down there now. We need one single T-junction. So we're going to go and get a T-junction. Clong. Ow, my head. And then we are going to pipe in everything that we've Looking already got. Uh, no. No, I am not. I know exactly what I want. Can we afford this? Yes, we can. Good. All right, let's take this pipe over. And we should be pretty good. I'm actually just going to drop the resources we need down there for now because we... Can't, there's no way of getting back up without the unstuck button, which only sticks us back at this location here, unfortunately. Uh, let's have a sleep so we can see. Boing. There we go. Dreaming of leaping ourselves. 
well, this is a nice landscape. Huh. Okay, so down there. Right. Now, we could probably go back to the fishing area and get ourselves a... Our... No, we won't. So we need a straight down there, and we need an elbow down there as well. Right here. Good. That should be all we need. Do we go get our lantern? Or do we want to buy one of those fireflies in a jar? Just see what they do. I want to see what they do. I've never seen them before. I didn't even know you could buy them. I'm going to take my 47 buckery booze. And I'm going to go and buy one of these gorgeous little fireflies. Oh, we're $1 short. Ah. No. <laughs> oh, that's literally the most painful thing that I've experienced today. Okay, uh, so T-junction, we are going to pipe in the top one first, and then we're going to line it in from below. Uh, operate, there we go. And this one's got to be an elbow. There, and this one has to be straight. Right here. There. Now we can pipe the machines in, and they should just start spewing out resources. Still can't see anything, unfortunately. And there's no way out unless we unstuck ourselves. Oops. I just looked up your channel on 5V and it didn't show up. I, what's 5V? I've never heard of that. I just do this for a hobby, by the way. I'm not like a professional or anything like that. No one's paying me to be on YouTube. I'm just here for the social element so far. Uh, we need to go and buy more uh, repair tools. That's not good because I don't think we can afford them. On TV. That's strange. Did you spell it right? The deeper you dig, the better the resources. <laughs> no, I think, uh, oh, that hurts. That hurts so bad. We need more money. I think that smaller channels like mine kind of don't turn up at the top of searches when you search them. But you can open links on a TV that, that does work. I've seen people do that. Unfortunately, like, it's just a limitation that YouTube imposes on small YouTubers. It's not really much you can do about it. It's still better than Twitch. We need money. So we need the gold. We need this right here be cast and now we need to put this right back where it was good wonderful uh we need to take this to the store we need to sell it and we should be golden should be as golden as what we're about to sell all right i hope this guy doesn't tell me to check out his goods because i'm not interested i'd like you to make me some that was way creepier than what i thought he was gonna say oh let's get away from that gacy ass bastard <laughs> Cheeky grand right there. I'll take it. Sure. Wonderful. We can probably start fulfilling contracts now, too. We're going to need an anvil of some sort to start forging things like swords and axes and jewellery to kind of give to people to fulfill contracts. But they don't give you money, per se. you got to actually just sell resources to get the money itself. Ah, we've got a grand. We're going to get a big five-pack of repair tools, and then we are going to be in the clear. Uh, you know, if you do want to watch me on your TV, the way I do it is I look at all of the subscribe channels on my I Am Bake. Back. Okay, that makes more sense. When you look at all of the subscribe channels on your uh, television or PlayStation, which is what I use, you can you can just manually select the, the channels that you've subscribed to, to to watch them on TV. Other than that, I, I really think YouTube just kind of sandbags smaller YouTubers. Okay, so I'm going to repair this thing, but we are not going to allow it on. We are going to turn it off, we're going to repair it, and then we're going to drop this because we are moving both of these bad boys underground. Boom, boom. Uh, taking this. Bad boy, we'll shove it down there. Boop. Yep, that's probably good for the machinery. <laughs> Let's go and get another one. And we will drop it straight back down the hole. Oh yeah, that's real good for the machinery. Just wedge it by the only thing that moves. <laughs> All right, uh, so we'll get this right here, turned the right way, and this one here needs to go above it. I think that's the right way. Still kind of looks like it's recessed into the soil up there a little bit, so maybe... Oh, we have to unstuck to get out of here. Maybe we dig it out a little bit further. Okay, we'll also get this downstairs because we need this downstairs. We need the repair tools downstairs. Uh, pickaxe could probably go downstairs too. I don't know why it's above the ground. And we also need one more thing. It's a bucket. Oh, we actually need a couple more things. One of them is probably this concrete pillar that's not being used underneath that sorting system conveyor. 
Where's the hammer? There it is. Good, and we'll unstick it. Boop. And we'll take it. Great! We gotta stick that in front of the machinery so that we can put a bucket down there. Have we got a bucket down there? We do not. We do not have a bucket down there. We're gonna get a bucket down there. Here's a bucket! <laughs> I don't know what drama that you guys in chat are having right there, but <laughs> everything's going well on my end. Uh, let's flip this bad boy over. There we go. And we'll put a bucket right in front of it. Right here. And now we've just automated probably one of the more frustrating areas to get ore from. It's going to be enormous. Oh, we also need to get a shovel down here too. So we're going to unstuck ourselves. And we're going to grab our shovel. We are going to shovel some dirt into that thing's bum hole. Boop. I'm going to take some of that. Put it in the dirt. Take the last of this. And now we want to come straight down here. And we'll jam it in the bum hole. We ready? All right, I'm making some jam. Some bum hole jam. Please? Is it because I'm holding a shovel? It was! Wow, that is a huge chunk. These are enormous. Oh my God. That is huge. Oh, nice YouTube play button emoji. I've never seen that before. Okay, uh, we have to unstuck, of course. And I'm pretty sure we can just leave this going. And every time we need to kind of refine those resources, we'll just go down and swap the buckets out and unstick ourselves. But we could probably also do with maybe... Ah, oh, don't want to go back down there, but I have to. We'll excavate this area out a little bit better so that the machinery has a little bit more light for us to see with. I think it's probably going to be the best idea. That's what she said. What? Make, make a make a jam butthole? Jam the butthole? <laughs> well, that's a nice play button. I've never seen it before. <laughs> okay, what are we looking at? We are actually... That is a lot of resources. Oh, my God. So, for anyone who doesn't know, the resources in Hydronia, they kind of give you very good indicators of how much of the resource is in a specific chunk by how big that they spawn. Like, this one right here is enormous. That is a big piece of ore. That is a big crystal, too. Great. So, this was actually really worth setting up. I'm actually going to maybe dig out some spots to put another one, but we also... We need the conveyor belts to come down here, which is going to cost a lot of money. But... Money should be coming significantly faster now, simply because we have so much more ore to gain. I probably should have just done this in the first place. When I was looking at my, when I was thinking about the last world that I was playing yesterday, I was definitely thinking about taking everything apart and then just setting it up underground like we have just done here. And it seems like this was probably the best move that we could have done because now we can just sideline all of these machines right next to each other and maybe a single or double filed line. If we get 10 water filters, then the machines will never take durability damage, and whenever we get more than uh, five machines, then, you know, having the water filters break is actually just going to be way easier to fix. Also has the added benefit of being very easy to program on a logic circuit, which is how we're going to automatically repair everything. So, for now, we are just kind of waiting, right? We were kind of waiting for this thing to spew out some resources. I'm actually pretty surprised we got as far with the fishing as we did. We'll see how far that... Oh, this doesn't go very far, actually. Maybe we can't set up another line of resources at the other end of here. Did one of them just fall out of the bucket? Did I just hear something hit the, hit the floor? Uh, no, I can't see. Maybe. That is a big ruby! Oh my god! Whoa, that is a big emerald! <laughs> this was a really good choice. This was such a good decision. My favourite book to eat is the Holy Bible. I'd say Genesis was my favourite course. I'm more of a Revelations guy. It's, it's got a bit of spice to it. Got a bit of spice to it. Right. So we're digging this out. I, yeah, we don't really have a lot to play with down here, to be quite honest. We probably do want to move to a new location pretty soon. But at the same time, we can probably just leave this on while we set up at a new location with all of the resources that we are going to be getting from this thing. Great. I'm not a big spice guy. Okay. 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 Maybe maybe Revelations isn't for you then. So maybe the 
<laughs> the Church of the Latter-day Saints is for you if you don't like much spice. You know, on account of their, uh, their abstinence. Okay, we'll beat this down. I kind of want to clear out a path for me to be able to escape from, but I know it's probably not realistic to do so. Oh, there's the car. Probably don't want to knock that down here. Okay, I'm going to start creating, like, a path that we can go up with. Maybe through here? Good. Because we need to be able to get out of here. That's that's really important. It's not being stuck in a hole. Okay, can't go up here. We can go up here. We can go up here. Wonderful! We've got a way out. And it functions. Great! So we could probably actually go down there and just take the resources now. I'm, I'm gonna do that. Oops, fell in the hole. Let's drop that on the ground. We'll get this other spear bucket right here. And then we will drop it straight down into the shaft. We'll go down after it as well, beating it to the ground against the laws of gravity. We'll grab it. We'll move this. We'll uh, put this in its place. Boop. There we go. And we'll turn it back on. Excellent. It's going straight in. And now we're going to go refine all of these goodies. This is like a couple of minutes worth of work as well, I'd say. A couple of minutes worth of the automation. So let's run this through the sorting system, see what happens. It's going to be huge. It's going to be so m what the hell was up with this one? Do we need to center that one? Okay, huge gems. Huge iron. Whoa. That is likely more than enough to actually craft another item. Okay, let's... Man, that thing's annoying, isn't it? <laughs> let's come over here. We'll drop this uh, spear bucket down into the hole. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't going to do something weird while I wasn't looking. And now I think that we probably want to go and get ourselves some scale. So I'm going to see if I've got enough money for it. I'm pretty sure I've got enough money for it. And we're going to make a trip out to the city. Then we are going to see uh, kind of what the agriculture side of the game is in the other city that I've never been to. Because I've never done that part of the game. We'll come in here. Floating coins. Ahoy. We'll move. I don't know if we can really knock anything around. We cannot. That's good to know. And we are pretty much golden. We also haven't refueled this car ever. <laughs> I think in the, uh, in the other playthroughs I do privately. I just buy another car. Your cash? Nothing. I've got a bit of cash. I got a bit of cash. I got a bit of cash. I mean, it's not a lot. Especially in the long term perspective of this game, but we do have really, really good starting bases. Oops. Didn't mean to hit that. Okay, so with this money. Oh, what are we going to do? I already forgot. We were going to go see the agriculture, but there was one thing more important to go and see first. I can't remember. Let's go check out the agriculture. Okay, someone else remind me. I'd say the ocean guidelines are good if you want to just... <laughs> Very complex test. I don't know, like, it's a bit too salty for me. Is this the way? No, I think... This is the way. I think this actually might be the, the place right here with the castle. I think this is Agriculture Castle. Maybe? Or maybe it's further down. Oh, I actually see a giant silo just over here. Oh, this screams farmhouse to me. Okay, we've got some birds whistling to me. Grangefield, this is where we want to be. Great! Looking for some Uh, yeah. How do I farm? What the hell is this? It looks like a... It looks like a boss from The Surge. <laughs> it's worth two and a half thousand bucks. A two and a half thousand T bucks as well. So we actually do need a different form of currency to start the farming, it seems. Uh, we can't buy any of this bit. We can buy that scarecrow. We cannot. Oh, the scarecrow just slapped me in the face. Embarrassing. There's a greenhouse over here. Nothing in it. Okay. Your sister's not getting my Robux. I don't, I don't buy Robux. I'm not one of those guys that like spend heavily in games. I'm one of those guys that get really good at a game. This will go straight to our boys in armor. Oh? Huh? What what are you saying? I have beaten free to play games for free. <laughs> Which is almost unheard of by most people. Oh, these are worth money. These are worth coins. We've got a trowel. This probably digs a hole. We've got a scythe, which probably harvests. We've got a cooking knife. Uh cooking pot. Okay, we've got a stove. I got the and goods bolts. if you got the cash. 
Yeah, yeah. So this is the agriculture. This is the agriculture. This is... Pretty beer bones. There's carrots and tomatoes. I thought there'd be more. But it seems like there's not. Seems like there's not. Take fish, veggies, and soup. Oh, I love me some scran. Okay, so this guy will buy our fish, which... Oh, hello there, mangled face man. This guy will buy a fish, so I don't really think that he... locks us out of progression, right? Because I was only seeing that we could buy things for the, the tea coins. Okay, let's get some seeds. Let's get this trowel right here. For a measly 62 bucks, we'll get some carrots. And we'll get Take ourselves some goods. tomatoes. Uh, okay. Yep, admirable. Oh, that's quite expensive. That's quite expensive indeed. All right. So, now that we've got this, we can start talking about the farming now. We might potentially start having to go to the... Okay, let's just pull the truck around. We're going to have to go and uh, maybe distract ourselves for a little bit while we get enough together to get the sorting system to go underground. Because it's a, it's, a, it's a little bit fiddly to have to go down there with a bucket every single time. Oh, that's right. We were getting scales, weren't we? Man, this place is hard to drive. <laughs> okay, we'll come in here. Good. Park it up. Boop. Drop that in the back there. Drop this trowel in the back there. Okay, we've got everything we need to farm, I think. Right. Okay, so now that we're here, I'm lost again, by the way. We are on the other side of the map, the side of the map that I never have to come to. So we're looking for either a stone bridge or maybe something familiar. Like, uh, maybe this way? Oh, I think I see the stone bridge. Uh, gonna come up here. I think your girlfriend is having an affair with the right part of my moustache. Well, I mean, she's welcome to. That's that's probably the best affair that you could hope for, right? <laughs> no kidding? No kidding? All right, uh, so this is the city that we actually want to be in right here. I don't think we've taken the right path to get down here, but I am taking a path, which is better than nothing. Okay, uh, excuse me, sirs. I just need to wiggle my car out of this horrible, precarious situation I've placed myself in. Okay, let's try and go sideways up this mountain. Man, this car sucks. All right, I just need somewhere where I can kind of like get into the city. Yep, this looks about right. Okay, we flipped our car over. That's absolutely fine. We're going to break dance down this hill right here. Okay, good. And we are good. She want you to follow her YouTube channel? No. I have a rule against promotion on my streams. Uh, usually it ends in a permanent ban, and I don't think twice about it. I'm going to start enforcing it soon as well. So, no, I will not be following anybody. Uh, somebody came onto my stream yesterday demanding that I add them on Roblox as well, which I'm just not going to do. Like, I'm not on YouTube to add random people I don't know to a gaming platform I'm not playing on. <laughs> oh, it's so strange. It's so strange what people expect YouTubers to do for them. Because we only like making videos, that's the thing, right? I know, yeah, right? Yeah, I'm not following anybody. Man Did the Adventure is a great indie game. That is actually very high up the list. You're probably going to see that on my channel as kind of like a full playthrough and lore breakdown within the next week or two, I would say. Uh, quite frankly, I'm going to get back to horrors uh, very, very soon because I took a wee break from... Oh, we forgot the scales again. I took a wee break from horrors. I was getting a little bit too desensitized to them and I found them a little bit too depressing. So I took a little break and I'm going to get back to them probably this weekend. Man Did the Adventure is really high up the, um, the list as well. I won't force to play with me and my sister on Roblox. Don't worry, there will be kind of like a period in the future where I'll start just like doing weekend streams where I open up Roblox games for viewers. So anyone can come and play with me, but I'm, I'm not gonna go out of my way to add people. <laughs> I was just thinking about that last night, like just thinking, oh, was I too cold about that? Was I was I a little bit too, too mean? But no, I realized, it. realistically, it's probably best just to say, no, I probably won't be doing that at all straight off the bat. That way people don't have unreal.